Today's A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan podcast is brought to you by Guardian Water Services. You could find them at guardianwaterservices.com. Not only do we love their products and what they provide, but they're just damn fine people that do really good stuff for charities that we work with, especially the Yellow Brick Road Foundation. Yep. But Guardian, man, uh, how long has Josh and his team been with us? Oh, man, I've got six years more, somewhere around there. Yeah, and I know that water conditioning or RO systems can be like a little weird, and there's a lot of guys out there that are not going to do you right. Yeah. Guardian is not that company. They are amazing. They use Westinghouse. Mm -hmm. Um, They've been doing this for a very long time. Sam has an RO system. Butler does. You do. I do. And you're upgrading yours, right? Yeah. I got Joe coming over, and what we're going to do is we're going to run our refrigerator water line to our RO system. Boom, and, nice and cold RO water. And I'm upgrading the size of my RO storage tank to the one, the, the next bigger size. Yeah, yeah. That way I can have RO ice and then I could also have the little faucet that goes next to my sink. I've been saving this to talk about, uh, but I did a we did a blind taste test. Yeah, yeah. Because Maisie is obsessed. Okay. My daughter is obsessed with, quote, experiments. So Andrea has been looking for anything she can do to try and, like, just kill some time with oh, a yeah. kid, right? So we lined up tap water. We lined up RO water. And then we lined up bottled water. Okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we lined up all three. And we had Maisie choose. And she did not know. And she chose the smooth water. Mm, the bottled yeah. water tastes like plastic. The tap water tastes like Chlorine. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'll just say it. And the RO water is the one she selected, and it was awesome. And we laughed, and we laughed. Dude, uh, our, our RO system isn't hooked up right now because the the remodel. Oh, and good we're luck getting for your the kids sink. to drink water. Oh, did uh, Crystal was drinking tap water because we ran out Disgusting. of like b- bottled water, and she's like, "Is this taste like pool water?" Yeah, you get spo- like, you yeah. get spoiled. Yeah, yeah, you, you can do. taste it. You can yeah. legitimately taste it's active fine, chlorine yeah, yeah, yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not a scientist. I don't know what I'm tasting, yeah. but it tastes like chlorine. And then the full house conditioning system. They can do it all. Yeah, the Danny Tanner. That's yeah. the full house conditioning. <laughs> Ask for the Danny Tanner. It's GuardianWaterServices.com. You're listening to the industry leader, radio guys turn podcasters. And now the whole town is sucking our dicks. Oh, yeah. You're listening to this is- A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to lick our balls, bitch. bitch. Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solutions Studio. It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee! Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. Hey, hey, it is show 585. Mm. I just spit everywhere. Oh, Oh, it's the Rona special. I don't know if it's Rona, but I'll put it to you this way. I don't know if I'm drinking Coke Zero right now or water. Can't taste a thing. Oh, no. (laughs) Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm Dan. Tom. Samantha, our producer's here. Hey, Sam. Hi. Butler, our sales guy extraordinaire, the Chapa. He's here. You all right? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> a man that takes his karate extremely seriously uh, and woo. now rocking mm. the. I mean, you almost. <laughs> I can't look at you. I can't either. <laughs> I, 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 like like I like it. I like it. it. I'm glad this light is blinding uh, me. UFC's Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> you, it looks good, right, man. Thanks. Seth Petrozelli on the news today. What's thank up, you. dude? All right, how you guys doing? I like that. Don't, I think it looks nice. Thank you. Don't joke about that stuff either. About the not tasting, smelling. It really gives me anxiety. Just oh, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, mm. no jokes on your own show. Because I can't tell. If you're joking or really, oh, I'm joking. You came to the wrong. But there's show, always a little bit of seriousness in a joke. So the, no, know. no, no, not in that 
one. I'm not. Uh, we're very careful. I did take my daughter to school this morning, and oh, oh man. The well, kids, then I'm not coming back after this. The night. kids were cough <laughs> crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was like Jesus. I was like, let the children come unto me. They all ran over to the tell me a story. Gave them kisses on the and cheek. I'm like, before I tell you one of my age old parables, please, would you all cough on me? And I stood there, look, like, little coughs everywhere, oh. and I'm like, yes, more! That sounds like my worst nightmare. <laughs> Oh, and that even if there's no corona involved. I was like the guy in Hellraiser when he's regenerating his skin and he's gaining power from stealing souls. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, cough on me! Cough on me! <laughs> the bigger, the younger they are, the bigger the viral load that that's coughed on you. Don't say viral load. <laughs> God damn. I know what well, that means. Coming out Vi- strong. Yeah. Vi- viral load, that's the, the actual mm. bad stuff yeah, that's in the cough. We're viral babies, load. and when I hear load, loads are Yeah, we know what loads things. mean. Dirt. Come. That's it. <laughs> I got two speeds for loads. Uh, well, that shows you what your head's <laughs> in. Female yeah. loads for loads. Yeah. Oh, my God. I haven't. I, I changed my medication. Not to start out hot, but mm. let's start out hot. Changed my medication. They upped it. Which is not a bad thing. Is that why you're all like, no, no, that's that's caffeine. That's caffeine. He's it's riding like, the manic tsunami. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I have been very manic. They dumped about ten grams of dopamine. In the oh yeah, crazy. Like, wow. And my wife was uh, frogging me good last night. Mm. Oh, the you, frog, got a, you got a second frog. I got a second frog. And so we're putting frog into uh, into rotation, and I tell her to sw- uh, uh, spin around because right. one of my favorites. Is uh, is reverse cowgirl because I mm. like to spread her come ass on, come on. cheeks mm. and I like come to on. look at it and I like to watch and, and I'll, I'll <laughs> quote uh, no, no, okay. Tuna <laughs> Daddy, but, which is one. I didn't know that this was a thing, but it's called lips that grip. I like to watch my wife's vagina. No, lips, come on, come on. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> sucking my dick. Yeah. No. It goes out when down. Yes, and, up when I, and I no. love it. No, and don't, so don't, I'm don't doing do that. And so I come. So I come, but it's been a while because they've up my uh, pills, so mm. I haven't, we haven't had sex, I haven't been able to perform because you gotta get used to it. Huh? Well, you get some, you get a, it's hard. You end up, mm. well, you get hard, you just can't come, right? Oh, oh so yeah, then yeah, yeah, I yeah, finally yeah. come, then my wife, who's very sensitive, very kind, she's like, yay, we did it. That is a quote. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quote, because I was worried about it working, right? Oh, no. <laughs> I'll call her and she'll verify all of it. No, I finish. believe it. Come on. And then she stands up, and because it had been a lot, there's a lot in there. No, come yeah. on. And I got a, a yeah. pancake size load no. in my pubes. No, no, no. And no. I used a washcloth to get it all, but I didn't get all of it. Woke up the next morning, looked like I was brushing my pubes with a toothbrush. Come on, you no, didn't no, wash no. it out? Stop. Stop. No, it's too tired. It's too that is, she frogged gross. me good, man. Don't put it at the beginning of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Happy and Friday. When, how long's the buffer? How long do I gotta wait? Well, you gotta wait till once everybody gives up. Oh my them. God. Christine's just right. Everyone. Christine's right. Sam's right. You guys. Yeah. are both right. It is called, that is now called the fluffy pancake. Yeah, yeah. when you no, leave no. the cum When in, you leave yeah. the cum oh, in there into on. your pubes. Oh, f- it was a big viral load. It was I, a lot. <laughs> it fell out and then my wife goes, yay, we did it. And she stood up and he goes, on me and she goes, uh-oh. Stop. Right to the bathroom. She's going to snort that stuff off. No, my God. That's an advanced move. level. Snort it off. I thought we were going to talk about Seth's mustache. Well, they're very similar topics. His shorts looks like my Mima's couch. I like those, these are like almost well, not one of a kind. They're probably a million of a kind. Nike shorts, <laughs> you know. <laughs> These are one of a kind right. Nike shorts, <laughs> made by a billion. Well, it's company. hard. It's hard to find them. They're uh, like uh, tucked away in the back. So, Seth, what is up with your mustache? I just sometimes I just I look back at my old fight pictures and I was mm. like, I was like, oh, uh, I did this. No, I wasn't getting nostalgic. Like, okay. oh, back when I was a fight. Uh-huh. No, I just saw like I used to do different designs and stuff like that. So, like, you know what? I haven't done it in a while. I'm boring right now. Mm. I just want. To mess, mess around. It so. looks good on but you. But I had I had the big handlebars coming all the way down. Oh. I didn't tell Tracy. I walked out and she said, "Quote, what the fuck is that?" Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, and, I, and and I go, "Oh, you don't like it?" She's like, "Man, you look like a true Florida boy." I'm like, "Ah, oh, so like one of your cousins and shit." Like, because she heard. Oh, uh, that sounds uh, like what, a healthy relationship. You look, <laughs> you, you look more. I like, look like one of your trash family. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a creepy <laughs> uncle. Yeah, you you want to fuck me? You look more like a traditional <laughs> New York uh, oh, really? firefighter chief. Oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah. Well, like here, that. here's the compliment. Old. He. Oh, yeah. It doesn't make you look older. 
has a thin, mm. he has a chiseled thin face, so it looks good on you. We have another friend, uh, Taylor Boyd. He has a, he's rocking right. the, the mustache. It looks good on him. Butler could get away with rocking the mustache. It looks good on guys that have th- a thin face. If you have a fatter face and you grow a mustache, mm. you're automatically well, Carl Wayne's Wayne's man. Because well, the bottom <laughs> of the mustache yeah. usually flips up from the chin. Old fat detective. Yeah, you, you turn straight to Mario. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, guy, yeah. eat these mushrooms, Mario. Big fat Mario. <laughs> but, uh, but I trim the handlebar part. And she likes it better. She's like, "Oh yeah." I'm like, "Should I shave it?" She's like, "No, keep it." I'm Are like, you gonna oh, let right, it cool. get let it get bristly and oh, bushy? I'm get, oh. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Twist it. I have twist going it for the I have to. A bit. I did that. I did a full. I don't, I don't think that's still in anymore, is it? I don't know. That's it's, hipstery, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing it for in. fun. Yeah, yeah just, just do fun. what's fun. It, yeah. Okay, tell me. My wife likes my wife likes the bristles, and your girl might like them as well. With what we were just talking about, I'm just saying. There's this weird psychological effect that I'm having right now, and tell me if you guys have. Have the same thing where you feel, well, like you, can bully, you feel like you can bully me now because no, 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 hold on. The, the, opposite. It's, it's the opposite. opposite, the three oh. of us have you got a pretty much authority mustache proven oh. to everybody yeah. that we're real fucking men because <laughs> we can poof some hair out of our face. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're calling me this not a guy. Man. Oh, I forgot you got the chemo uh, ferret on your wait, face. Wait, yeah. wait. This guy, I don't know. But about here. every man that I grew up with that was like a father figure, my mm-hmm. uncles, my, my stepdad, dad. my dad, uh, you know, had the Traditional Florida. Fuck yeah, they did. Oh yeah, my dad. That's all I remember him has having is a yeah. They, it is a Florida thing. Nobody, no man that all my uncles, every all my f- dad's friends, like anybody that was an older man that came out. Every one of them had well, a mustache. Yeah. If you didn't, you, it almost meant you were a boy. It was like they, once they became a man, they just grew a mustache and never shaved it off. Yeah. And for whatever reason, mm. anybody with a mustache. I have this weird thing where I have like more respect for them for mm-hmm. no other reason than they have to, a mustache. I yeah, but then you, to... you pan down to the shorts and you lose. No, the no, no, yeah, yeah. no, it only happens for a split well, second. You really don't like these shorts? I don't, man. They look. I, I get like comments on these shorts all the time. I like them. There's spider kind of cool. web in them. There's, there's yeah, I think flowers. They're cool. and it's, dirt. it's old meme all flower couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. the, it's an old meme all short. That's the trend. I like them. I'd wear them. Not for me. Well, that's why we're all different and we all have our right. special ways. <laughs> yeah. Don't, what is it? You're don't, right. uh, what is the thing we say, Sam? Don't yuck on someone else's yum. Yeah, don't yuck oh, on somebody uh, else's that, yum. That's good. I like that. Mm. Um, Ask about kisses. Here, but here's the problem. Like, uh, you gotta yuck sometimes because, uh, <laughs> some sometimes you gotta yuck. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want your friends, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because looking they, ridiculous. Uh, exactly. I mean, the uh, people are into things that make them look stupid, and, you know, they. Well, nobody uh, talks to you out of your mm-hmm. tiny little two inch shorts <laughs> that you don't even wear. I do want to bring up I something like because I knew it was going to happen. We were all supposed to wear cowboy boots today, and oh, I knew I nobody would, so I didn't oh, wear I mine. I buried mine. Uh, I forgot. Why'd you bury your cowboy boots? You shit in them? No. Mm. No, I felt really bad when I back when after Kimball I spent I spent like seven hundred dollars on a real nicey fancy snake horse for pony hair pair. <laughs> I'm not gonna like crazy. As an animal, so was really lover, a, you bought pony boots. Like, exactly, and that's why I buried them. Like about so three, you four beat up Kimbo Slice and, and you used bought the some money to boots. buy boots you buried. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, I did, I did and, uh, and at the time, and then I, then I realized what I got, and I felt really bad, so I. Dug a hole and buried him. My Amelia Where house. Where are they? And my Amelia house in the back. Wait a pool. minute. Let's go to the neighbor now. Oh, oh you were, oh, you felt bad because up. they were an animal. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Oh. Yeah, this guy's so crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> buried a pair of dead boots. <laughs> no. <laughs> he gave it a, hold on. Why did you think but he was buried? He gave it a funeral. I, 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 he I, I, was burying them because they were an animal. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I, well, it just clicked up. But for <laughs> first, I was like, you felt bad because you spent so much money on it? Right. I spent a lot of money on it. I was in a Brett Michaels phase. The affliction. Oh, yeah. Let's get back there. You could. Oh, going somewhere. <laughs> I just bought a new truck to an old seventy nine or seventy eight uh, international. Who scout. are you becoming? You bought a scout? Yeah, I bought those a scout. Are I'm those gonna are... get it all fixed up, do it all up nice. Those are amazing. Yeah, so I buy my diet. I need money to fix it up. Okay. Huge fan. I, just... oh, I got an email. I got to give you. There's a lady that wants to buy the diet. <laughs> I just realized something that, w- and this happens to me uh, fairly often with Crystal. Right when environmentally Eating? friendly, <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, environmentally friendly people or like uh, animal lovers, or whatever, accidentally do something that's <laughs> against their inherent because it's cause. almost impossible to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they realize it. It gives me great pleasure. I don't know. Why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did. I did double down on the <laughs> on the sheep's fur though. I bought the two sheepskin things for my castle table. Uh-huh. I liked it so much. I bought four more. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you're killing sheep. Uh-huh. So now they're, 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 
Three sheep <laughs> hides. <laughs> They're going to be all around all my chairs. Hides my, for everyone. Uh, Taking out the entire herd. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's only, it said order fast, only 26 left. So I'm like, I might as well get it so nobody else gets it. Well, and, there's only 26 sheep left in the world? Well, for this herd, I guess. Uh, this family that they slaughtered. How much are these? <laughs> how much are each one of for, the hides? Oh, it was like, it wasn't that expensive. It was like 150 bucks or something. <laughs> oh my God. It's a placemat. Uh, uh, no, it's, it's like You're going to get, three you're gonna get a hamburger helper on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we sit on it. I put it on on the stools and the, and the, and the church chair, the castle chair. Or the. Uh, Are you dressing in like. Oh, you, oh yeah. You that's def- your seat. You that's your seat. Do you right? make your girlfriend <laughs> dress like a, like a, I don't know, like a medieval or like something? A no, but yeah. I've tried to get a picture of her sitting across at the opposite end of the 20 foot table <laughs> while we're both eating alone. <laughs> <laughs> but she wouldn't do it because she's like, I'm uh, not in Mako, just wait. She's like, no, she's embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's embarrassed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now she's now my fucking mustache. weirdo boyfriend makes me uh, sit 20 feet away from me <laughs> eat dinner. That's how it was done, and it's how it's done now. Hey, hey down there! Can you see my mustache? <laughs> 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 I would pay money just to have a, a recording of her telling her, <laughs> her oh, friends her friends age oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, about her old man. He's boyfriend. got a big Smith dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but all the old crazy old things he makes me look at his butthole. <laughs> he thinks he has cancer all the time. Uh, he's getting another MRI. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but he's got a huge cock. <laughs> and he's rich. <laughs> Shut that's not like that's not that's not anything. That's, not, that's total opposite. I mean, it's not bad things. You think if I would, I tell if, if Andrea, if somebody said, "Hey, I was talking to your wife today," and she said the only reason she's with you because you have a huge smooth cock and you're rich, I'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> I'd be like, "That's two awesome <laughs> things." To have. I'd be like, hey, what, "What do you Who got? Who doesn't want that?" Right. Yeah, yeah. I got two. I got like yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. the, the next one could be like I don't know. Yeah, if if, if yeah, anything. if my wife t- tells some stranger like I'm with him because small dick and small. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want you to be with me for that. <laughs> He's poor and sloppy. All right, well, that's worse. His teeth smell like a fish tank, and he has a tiny cock. Uh, um, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's get this let's shot out of the way. All right, Butler. Shots, 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 shots. There you go, buddy. All right. Cheers to the kids upstairs stomping around like nobody cares. Gonna drown, gonna drown out the noise with a shot of shark bite. Check me out on semantics. I'll be high as a kite. Rock and roll nine hundred two. All right. Oh god, you're gonna go on semantics. Uh, oh, poor semantics. Wait, is that a knock at me or no? Him? No, no, oh, definitely Butler. Sugarworks right. Distillery. Uh, that, that's a. Uh, I feel bad for. Samantha. Oh, we know. Uh, okay. <laughs> We know you run a tight ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just don't understand why you would invite that guy. Oh, uh, yeah. Then I, met, I, I, I haven't even been to your new house yet, and you're going to invite that guy? Yeah. He's going to chop everything. Also, Is everything secure? You know what? I'll let him chop that goddamn tomato plant because I'm sick of it. <laughs> hey, get a video of that. Also, imagine how high he is at night. Because <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> oh, when he gets here in the morning, I'm like, over here, over here, over here. Right, 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 don't look at me, don't look at me. Imagine T-Rex, you gotta have a flare. Oh, yeah, you get distracted even. <laughs> On his off time. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, um, oh yeah, sugar works. Um, yeah, that is, uh, you know what, that's getting, it's it's got a, like a nice mild like not an artificial cinnamon flavor. Yeah, is that real? With the stick in the cinnamon? Yeah. They have a they, they use real Smell cinnamon. Really in this. I was about the shark see, bite whiskey from Sugar Rush. I'm not like a big fan of uh, old Corona nose over here sniffing. <laughs> this is how, okay, it's it's probably the you're supposed to do cleanest one this way. So you okay. don't stick your nose on top of you. Keep it six feet away. If you hey, when you over here, fucking when you do drink, I'll get you some of that. I got my fingers all over the cup. Oh fuck's sake! I'm not drinking that. I dropped it on the fork couch. Let me clean it off. Don't lick it. Clean oh Jesus God. Christ. I'm joking. This is ridiculous. How many times have you stuck your finger in your asshole? <laughs> you can fucking put the top on I it. Do. Well, I dropped it on the couch. I was going to rinse it it's off first. Liquor. No, it's fine. Um, shake it up real good. Okay. Yeah. Give it yeah. two good shakes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's natural hand sanitizer. Yeah. It's, mm. uh, whatever. Um, it's anyway. on my hands now. Do um, you want to start the show with some mail on mail, yes. sir? All right. Let's do it. We haven't done... Goddamn, we haven't done mail on mail. I feel like in forever... <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for calling 1-800-HOT-DICK, the place to find real action with real men. To make it even better, we've got new low prices. So low, we're practically giving it away free. If you are a man seeking a woman, press 1. If you are a woman seeking a man, press 2. If you are a man seeking a man, press 3. Male on male. 
Mail on Mail brought to you by Mosquito Nicks. Um, we got the uh, portable systems for sale on our merch page if you want to grab those or get the full house system like I have. They just run the uh, high pressure hoses around your fence line, around your roof line. That way uh, it goes off automatically. Also, they got a new Wi Fi and an app that I have so you can control it through your phone. Yeah, yeah. well, like technology, they're always yeah. making things uh, better and better. Yeah. For the one guy that did email me this week, you are an idiot. It isn't <laughs> Mosquito Nicks. Oh, Nick. He <laughs> thought it was Mosquito oh. Nicks Mosquito oh. Repellent. Like, yeah. he's like, I want to get some of that Mosquito Nicks. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, tell Nick I like his... Pro- I'm like, <laughs> You're an idiot. It, no, it's... <laughs> It's mosquito nicks yeah. nix uh, dot com. Anyway, um, ask, they'll give you a Tom and Dan discount for the full system. Seems like an okay mistake to make, dude. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> No, I have I have a like, fuck. I have an extremely low tolerance for our listeners. It's like the headlights treatment. Uh, yeah. Nix. Yeah, and then Tom and I said on Monday show that if you put um if you get uh Hmm. What, what, what are we, yeah, we were talking about crabs. Oh, and yeah. then I said Bart Merrick had crabs. <laughs> Why would you say that? I don't know. Why do I say everything? <laughs> any Why do I say SCD anything? Mm. Ever. First email. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm subscribed to your Twitch channel. Oh, pause for a second. Yes. You ever had crabs? Never had anything. Nothing. Yeah. Not Bullshit. One. I swear. So, I'm, I'm the science. only one that's ever so had. I've never had any I'm the sort of only one I had headlice one time when I was a kid. Yeah, I had headlice as a kid. I'm the only one brave enough to admit. I've had some scares. Mm-hmm. What you're like? Oh, that crab's getting awfully close to my. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've gotten tested thinking that I might have something and nothing. Well, crabs. You, uh, I don't even remember how I found out I had crabs. Well, they're mm-hmm. bugs. I had jock itch. Pubes. Does that count? No, no it wasn't itchy. Everybody's had jock itch. Oh, okay. I don't think I've had that. Uh, I don't even know what that is. It's like athletes. You didn't. Athletes foot did on you ever cock. play organized or sports? Foot on dick, yeah. I so what is it? Burn. Did but it's just itchy. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's almost like it's, athlete's it's, feet, but uh, yeah. in your never had that either. Yeah, it was red, and itchy, and a little, little got a little wet from itching uh, so much. Uh, oh, yeah. Gross. I get I get athlete's <laughs> feet sometimes now <laughs> from our my sugar works. from our sandals. You know, like wearing sandals. That's why I'm wearing shoes. Mm. I've switched to shoes because my feet are just shredded. Mm. Yeah, my heels. Oh, I got Florida Ooh, yeah. cracked heels. <laughs> yeah. so bad. Oh, anyway. Uh, anyway, sorry. sorry. Email. Okay. Uh, I'm subscribed to your Twitch channel, and I was wondering if there's a way to access the premium shows on your website without having a second subscription to it. Have gone through all the free shows in the archives and loved them. Would really like to hear the rest. Damn it. I, we never thought about this. The reason I printed out this email is kind of interesting. I believe that this gentleman... Is a subscriber on Twitch for without commercials, not Prime. That's free. Yeah, I think this guy's actually got money in, right? Okay, uh. but he's saying, "Oh, do I get BDM with that?" He must be a new guy that kind of found us through Twitch. Oh, cool. And he's like, "Do I get BDM shows as well on the website?" And the answer is no. Yeah, you got to pay. But I'm kind of like thinking about that, and I'm trying to think about how I can fix that form, or well, I don't can, know. Yeah, I mean, if you are a Twitch subscriber and you're paying us, I mean, I don't mind giving them the the uh, BDM. Uh, nine, but it $1, is. $1, I mean, it is. It is a separate, a separate subscription. subscription. Actually, anyway, not, subscription. not to talk this out on the show, yeah. but anyway, I thought it was interesting, yeah. and uh, I thought it was also pretty cool that we found somebody that popped in kind of organically through Twitch, found the show, and likes it. Yeah. So welcome, and we're glad to have you. That's always weird to me it when uh, that's why I printed it out. Someone finds us through an avenue like Twitch or like YouTube or stumbles upon us that way. And uh, this guy, you've, you'd notice his like if you guys saw his name. Mm-hmm. Well, you you see it. Yeah, it's I recognize the name. It's he's in there. Uh, he's in there a lot. So yeah. welcome, and I I'll it's work on norm. that. No, I will, kidding. but I will work on that for you. <laughs> His name is Mosquito Nix. Uh, Juan has told me that there are ways that we can include certain benefits. Okay. with Twitch, we've only scratched. Maybe the we surface. make a bundle like the cable companies where you get. Oh, your Twitch. oh yeah, I fucking hate the bundle. I love, I, you know what? I, I'm bundling. I'm yeah. I'm with Stop you. On, I hate the term bundle, but if you're gonna do it, yeah. I think we call it the Trundle bundle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll, we'll work on that. I'll okay. put that in the list of never-ending goddamn things to do. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, uh, this morning I thought of ten more things, and I was like, fuck it. You guys need to hire somebody else. We do. <laughs> so, what? Are you, uh, what are you going to do, Seth? What, I'm done. What are you need me to do? Send me your application. And, uh, I have a really good resume. I put a resume together about like, uh-huh. Yeah, a year ago. And what, what, really a, what yeah, job what, is he applying for? Yeah, what do you want? Well, we need I a, can do both we need their a show jobs puncher. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm yeah, already the a, shopper. A show yeah. what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a show oh, puncher. That's true. Okay. We're trying to edge us out here, yeah, but I don't want to do a job. Oh. I mean, I'll, do both. <laughs> I'll probably do both their jobs for about 10% less than you're paying both of them. <laughs> oh, Samantha, too? The oh. That's uh, incorrect. Oh, no, no. I want Samantha. Travis, now I'm talking about Can you go pick up an ice machine for Best 
Because that I will have a '78 it. Scout with the pickup bed, bed truck, so I can go get it. Like Travis had to take a break and yeah. smoke weed under a tree. I won't be smoking weed. I don't smoke on the dub. <laughs> oh, oh well, I'm sorry, you're fine. Oh, no, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We only the... hire people to smoke on the dub. Well, then no. Yeah. Did uh, all right. Um, oh, you want a voicemail? Okay, voice yeah, yeah, all right, we got a bunch of voicemails, and again, I like to tell you guys that one of the easiest ways to do that, um, you can call the number one eight four four T O M N D A N, or use our app. I don't think we've done a good enough job of describing to the Friday Free Show listener what a chopper is. Hey guys, this is uh, BDM Josh over here in Avalon. Um, I have a question. Uh, I, I'm a little behind in shows, but you guys have been talking about Butler being a chopper for quite a while. Mm. Um, I only listen to the BDM shows and the Friday free shows because um, I just I don't really have time to listen to like all the ACT um, content. God, <clears throat> listen to um, the best of. But I don't know if Chopper was something that was started on, on maybe an ACT show or uh, maybe I, I missed was. when it you know when you guys talked about it, but. For for people like me who who uh, you know find it funny obviously but don't really know where it started, would you guys mind just kind of going over where that whole chopper thing came from and and kind of what it means just for you know just for shits and giggles? Um. Anyway, I, re- uh, I remember. love the show, guys. Yeah, Bye. it all starts in the womb, sir. <laughs> um. So we stumbled acro- across this whole theory. A while ago, and I don't remember. I remember when you guys asked me that Friday, right. yeah, and it was like a big deal on that Friday. I, I, yeah. I think we what did it on like it? a Wednesday or a Tuesday, <laughs> and it was after we had walked to Publix, to Publix as a foursome, and we all witnessed <laughs> Butler. Uh, I think I'm remembering this correctly. He karate chopped what I believe was a. Um, like a, uh, a bird's nest. No, the it was a, mag- it was a magnolia. magnolia. It was a yeah. magnolia yes, flower. That's correct. <laughs> and because I'm sort of allergic to them, and and I, we all talked about it. And then I remember Tom. I think you were the one. You saw him do it, and you're like, "What the fuck are you a child?" Yes. <laughs> like, yes and yes. I think that's how it naturally. It was an exchange between. Which, by the way, he did chop today on the way to public. Oh, yeah. and Tom, he yeah. was chopping. He didn't look at the plant. It was out of his peripheral. Tell me I'm not lying about yeah. it. He's walking by. It's out of his peripheral. He's not even looking at the plant. Yeah. When he chopped it, it sounded like a fucking gun went off. It yeah. was so loud. It was like, <laughs> it was like good. cow! And yeah. I was like, what oh. the fuck was that? And he's like, I'm the, I'm the chopper. And no, I'm he like, goes, I wasn't even looking at that. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? I wasn't even looking at <laughs> He wasn't. That was a subconscious chop. It, I compared <laughs> it, it to really was. I compared it to that trick you do when you stare at somebody's elbow when you're doing a high five. Oh, and wow. then you high five so loud that it's like, <laughs> it, that's what it sounded like. That's a thing. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. look at, like, when you go to do a high five with somebody, if you look at their elbow and they look at yours, you'll never miss. Oh, that's we got, we idea. have uh, Steph in the chat is saying it was when we rented that bike. Oh. And he was well, chopping I, the goddamn trees with the flag. I think that was just the exclamation point. I think mm. we had already okay. pointed it out. Yeah. And so, and uh, this happens every once in a while. It happened with sit stand and a couple other things. Sure. I think from me and Daniel talking. Oh, uh, every, when he threw the stick at the gator. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That too. That's a, but he threw a stick at a gator. It, it was, was dead, a dead gator. But still. Oh, it was bloated. If you have <laughs> enough conversation uh, daily, right, for hours, and we're just like, because we're, there's none of this planned, we're all no. improv. You stumble upon things that you're like, huh, that seems like a thing, right? Then we now with the internet, we get confirmation that it is a thing. Like, look how many times we get tagged on sit stand, right? That came up uh, like through a like random just conversation. Random conversation where I realized that I stood up to wipe my ass. What are you laughing at, mustache? Oh, get him! Get him, Tom! <laughs> What's happening? I just had a flashback of when I was younger doing, doing something like I thought shit. Get, shit. I thought this guy over here blaming her. I shit in my pants. I forget about things I did in my life, and when you say something, it makes a spark of memory. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like your dad was being wrong, but my shit stories. But now I gotta add a no. shit flashback. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a fart. And I Flat, I'm going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what was what I, what I, know, was I feel bad saying it. There was a dead cat in the road, okay. mm. and I was driving, and I intentionally ran it over a second time. Oh it, was, it was already. 
totally squashed okay. and dead. Well, why would you do and that? Then I, and then I you're turned around. Chopper. I was with oh. two of my friends. I turned around and just kept doing it like seven or eight more times until okay, they, you're a psychopath. Until they yelled, a psychopath, not a until chopper. Until they yelled at me like, stop doing this. Yeah. And I was like la- like this laughing. You have a mental problem like Tom does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the sanest person on the show. So uh, yeah. back to stumbling anyway. po- across these things. So with the sit stand, we get and we turned out. it turns out it's a thing on the internet and other people have come up with it at different times. And the chopper thing, I've been seeing this meme. Yeah. And I don't that wasn't created by like Rob no. Shampoo or anybody. So it's already a thing. And the meme was they don't have a term for it though. We've yes. we've coined the term chopper, but it is the same thing. And so the meme was just a, a branch and then a, a hand chopping. It was like it was SpongeBob. SpongeBob. <laughs> or SpongeBob. It, it, oh yeah, SpongeBob. And it was saying like it, uh, like it, don't chop it, don't chop it or something. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, oh, that tells me that being a chopper is everywhere. Yeah, it's yeah. universal. It, it's a virus that's out there. It is. And then we found it's that, a blessing, sir. That uh, that Travis is uh, a one a part of that. Well, he's really he's a he's a natural born chopper. So basically, we just realized that Ooh, Travis that likes should to be the shirt. Natural born chopper. Natural born killers. <laughs> be natural born chopper. Oh, we can do that. Uh, I like Papone's like God damn it. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> He's, I, I'm, I'm hemorrhaging money to him, too. I'm just giving him money all the time for like things that will never see the light of day. So to explain to this gentleman, it's someone that can't help but uh, chop plants when they walk by them, kick sandcastles over, they're chopping, they're, yeah. uh, they love popping balloons, tapping popping on bubbles. a fish tank, oh, yeah, jumping up and uh, seeing how high they could jump and chopping things yeah, high. Yeah. If there's a pork slapping. butt, if there's a pork butt at Winn-Dixie, no, they'll go over yeah, bongos, bongo, yeah. the bongo the butt, yeah. yeah. Butt bongo, the pork. Sprint the uh, danger. Somebody in the chat said, Seth hoarded a pile of doo-doo underwear in a shower and mutilated a cat corpse. This is a business owner in our community. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. He was mad, goes, mad just, when the gyms are closed. <laughs> <laughs> Saw him on the news. <laughs> it just goes to show you don't truly know anybody. That's right. Uh, You're absolutely correct. Uh, <laughs> I used term, that was me when I was younger. I was a little kid. Let's use the With term the cat thing? Business no, I was in high, I was a, like, right when I got my driver's license. That's why I thought it was funny. Mm. To, well, we're business owners. Yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, but, you guys are fucked up. But Seth, <laughs> I, but yeah, but we're Bobby's running. a business owner. Redco Media. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if I count. Well, Redco Red Media has not even <laughs> made no one, income. one goddamn cent because I've never written a check to Redco Media <laughs> and keep telling me next week, boss. He, next he's, week. He's getting mad. Uh, <laughs> sir, you're not my only client. <laughs> oh! That makes no sense to one point of I've never written My it. wife writes a check to my allowance. <laughs> right, my weekly allowance. Right. And, uh, buy my comics. Uh, hey, uh, Jen, uh, can I have my uh, Lego money? Okay. Oh, let, let, let's <laughs> it's talk. It's Tuesday. Seth, let me well, talk to you about, about being a business owner. Yeah. Uh, what kind. What's going on with your lid, dude? What, my hair? Your yeah. hair. It's my God. Doing something fun. Fun. It was good when you got in today. Yeah. Well, your headphones pushed you all right? it forward. Yeah. 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 You all right? I missed my uh, uh, appointment last uh, Friday. Yeah, I got, I got Dad, you guys are fucking like, oh, get the fuck out! <laughs> anyway, I got it today after the show with John. Anyway, so. Seth, oh. uh, the term business owner, um, I yeah, feel you like... Lose that, hmm? use that loosely with me? Yeah, or? because uh, what well, kind you of... You used to jack off in the back of your smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I the... still ran a good, strict, <laughs> I he was going to say, I still jack off in the back. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't do that. No. I, still I don't have the smoothie oh. king to do that, so... <laughs> what, uh, what kind of day-to-day activities are you involved in the business? Um, what kind oh, of... Oh, day-to-day? Oh, yeah, like, are you... Oh, uh, do, you have, do you have any responsibility with employees? Or the marketing, or you know, yes. Uh, um, I message. Payroll. We all have, we're all on a WhatsApp chat, like all the managers and coaches uh, and stuff like that. Mm, that's perfect. Once a day. WhatsApp. I, I, yeah, that's how we all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is. It's, it's the only best text, way to do okay. it. Yeah, it's a group text. Uh, I message once a day how the numbers are. Oh, no, that sounds that sounds <laughs> <important>. <laughs> how are the numbers? <laughs> <laughs> and they tell me, have you reached goal? And if they have, I send a thumbs up. And if not, I say you work harder. <laughs> <laughs> you send a, th- a pointy finger, <laughs> and you say to them, work harder. Yes, yeah, so that's <laughs> literally the. Uh, so and, you and that's why I branched off and did my own because the karate thing. I don't know if you guys know this. The karate thing is a totally separate business entity than the jungle. Yeah, yeah. No, it's I a knew total that. New, it's a different LLC. Everything like but that. But you. So. You use in order to manage. Mm. You use a series of complicated yet clear <laughs> emojis yeah. to communicate with your employees. Uh. We might have to implement. <laughs> you see, my uh. all my employees are millennials and Gen Zs. So yeah, they, so that's you're how using they, their language. I'm, I adapted mm. and learned how they communicate, and I did that appropriately. Mm. So for Sam, in order to get to her, I'm going to have to talk as if I'm a murderer. <laughs> oh, okay. My job is and to then come for here. And Butler, talk. Mm, I'm going to have to talk, like talk to him like you're a plant and the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I'm I, like, hey, I know you want to I get a lot of BDMs here. from talking on here because they understand how serious health is and how much they should get Oh, boy, do they. <laughs> Have they you do. seen them? Well, that's why they're coming to my gym and training and getting bettering themselves. Um, what do we got next? Uh, the email. Uh, email. 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 Right. This, uh, this says random email and butler condoms. Uh, Dan, you said you wanted to send a random person you don't know some random stuff, and then he gives his address. So All right. I'll leave this on your desk. Yeah, I'll just gather some stuff from here and send you some trash. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, trash. Stay off my desk. And unless Butler gets snipped, he should keep the condoms on. I'm 36, and for 10 years, I've been doing the pullout method with my girlfriend. Well, in March, I'm having a third kid. So when my oldest goes off to college, my youngest will be starting pre-K. Yay, oh. me. And because of that, we need something bigger than a compact sedan, so looking at the Atlas. Is that what you got? Uh, go outside of the VW. Tell me. You just suck at pulling out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was like, yeah. how? I've done that my whole life. <laughs> I love guys that I mean, say like that. Abortions. Like, oh, I've pulled out my whole life, and it's never. It, that doesn't mean. I'm convinced that it's, I'm shooting blanks uh, at this point. Really? He might. He smokes a lot of weed. I think I have. Yeah. I think, I, think all the mellow yellow, a Mountain Dew, weed. I'm shooting blanks. <laughs> weed kill sperm count? Well, well it, it is. I don't know. It's that's what I. I heard. was high as fuck oh, last night, and a shit ton came yeah. out of me. My God. You only have a small window. <laughs> Why don't we talk about They're it? They're dead though. Like, to get pregnant? Yeah, that yeah women know, like, so. they, they, they have to be ovulating to get pregnant. So you actually only have this window of time, right? Uh, the, you know, so it is I don't know like about women. a couple <laughs> times a month that you could even be successful. Why'd that. you look at me like I know how to get fucking pregnant? Well, I'm just well, saying I mean, you, know the, you know your body or yeah, yeah. women's bodies better than we so do. It, well, the egg has to drop and then... Uh, I've never done any research. I, cause uh, I, you, wear condoms, you wear condoms every time? Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, that's no. what I forgot to say. Only if I want a cream suck. pie, I got I to gotta work on them. But oh, uh, so you pull, pull out. out. Uh, mm. I pull out. Yeah, so no. you have to make a decision prior to fucking if you're going to yeah, cream I did. pie? Yeah. Half, I mean, I have, I have, a, I have a drawer full of uh, condoms, and if, if, it, if I feel like I'm like, you know, I'm gonna, we're going to do it all the way. Are they <laughs> red ones? I don't like the red ones. I don't like the red ones. When I see them in a porno and it's red, I don't like any color ones. Oh, God, why would you want that? It's like an animal penis. It looks like a dog dick. Yeah, I don't like that. Do you wear the red ones? I don't like that. What's your condom of choice? I'm a Magnum man. Magnum man. Oh, come on. It's all a, right. Honestly, it's hey, look, even everybody. If, fucking Seinfeld's here. I, another, <laughs> that's another symptom of a chopper. No, even, he's right, because even if you don't have a huge jokes. dick, it's still way more comfortable than regular condoms, because yeah, regular condoms are so off. constrictive. Yeah, we do. They don't fall off. What, you got a loose fucking condom on, yeah, you so want all the sperm can come out so anyway? Loose. <laughs> okay, maybe not a tiny like condom. Maybe I just have a big dick. I don't know. I like a relaxed fit condom. What the fuck are you talking about? I like the jinkos of condoms. I like that boot cut. <laughs> what are you wearing? Uh, well, these are second skin satin. <laughs> Gotta tuck in all the foreskin, you know? You know. There's that a capri. Oh. It doesn't even go to the end. <laughs> when you well, roll it, it's on the bottom. Up, it's just the tip. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like a little hat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you seen those? They have those kinds. Yeah, it's a, a it's like a piece of tape yeah, yeah, I've seen that, that goes over your, your dick really? lips. Yeah. And then when you come... Uh-huh. It explodes <laughs> no, into yeah. a tiny balloon. That's uh, awesome. At least no. you can feel it on your penis. Yeah, and then so your penis is completely. Uh, what does that uh, helping you from like STDs? It's not STDs. Who no, no, gives no, a no, shit no, about no, that? No. Pregnancy is what you got to work. <laughs> That's the main. Everybody's I hope you get STDs. AIDS just for saying. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Christ. That's hard. It's every it's time I've now. had an HIV I, test every six. Months. I don't know. You you start with a kid or AIDS? Like I'm going. You can live forever with AIDS now. It's fine. Eighteen years of paying your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. expensive as fuck, though, dude. Yeah. AIDS is easier, oh. and it keeps people away from you. Also, <laughs> which they, is kind of nice. Then I'm already halfway there with the Freddie Mercury mustache. You know what? The marketing department. Oh my god! <laughs> the marketing department for AIDS fucked up by calling it an AIDS cocktail because yeah. it doesn't sound that bad. No, <laughs> like <laughs> they shouldn't have called it a cocktail. Yeah. What is that? Immediately, I'm like, well, it's well, not it's that bad. It's it's a a well, that, it's just the word cocktail. I go to the doctor. I'm like, I need an AIDS cocktail. No salt. <laughs> <laughs> it just, but it makes it sound. A little, if you said like AIDS medication, like my dirty. You're, yeah. like, you're like, you're like, oh, medication. But cocktail, you're like, triple up on the olives. Yeah. Is it a lot of pills? You think? Like, is it like a whole shit? Ton? I have no idea, but it's a cocktail. So it's a well, it should be liquid bad. if they're going to call it a cocktail. It shouldn't be a, a handful of pills. I have no idea what it is, but uh, it's a handful of pills. Um, they, they Magic mar- Johnson on the phone. They, the marketing department, uh, <laughs> I, I think, either dropped the ball or did something good. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know where it stands. Well, nobody talks about it anymore, really. So well, it's good. not around anymore. Mm. That's what I heard. Oh. After I took my hydro. A chloroquine and drank my bleach, <laughs> all my AIDS went away. Hey, it's Zach from Ohio. Samantha, would you rather have had Tom or Dan as a father growing up? Hot take. Uh, Tom. 
Yeah, everybody wants uh, me as their dad because I, I can't discipline like, you. Do whatever I want. You do. Yeah, Depends like, on if you want to turn out. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm it's not a dangerous gonna game. Do the best uh, for you for the long term, but while you're a kid, it's fun as hell. Oh yeah, it's just all fun. Yeah, no this guy knows downfall. It'd be a complete reverse of my childhood. Oh yeah. Oh, you'd be horrible. Although, si- still an alcoholic, but <laughs> yeah, not as mean. Yeah. Well, that's just a given. But this guy, he he proved himself as the maximum fun dad. He's so much more fun than me as a dad. He bought a toy for Maisie. It was like a remote control car. I'm like, he ain't gonna fucking like this. I took it home and he's like crying. She's playing with it. He's like, this is the greatest thing I've ever had. No, I know what kids like. You do, man. You're good at it. He's fucking good at it. I gave her some like, I gave her highlights and some book to read. She's like, this sucks. I gotta pay Epstein for the trademark violation. <laughs> Uh, anyway, wow. hey, was, was that my Zach? Hot sauce Zach? Yes. yes. Oh, it, thanks a lot for taking a month to send my hot sauce, you, you motherfucker. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm <laughs> He's Louise. I pay him to do it, and he took forever to do it. Like, I give him extra, extra money. Uh, like, I, thought, I, pay, uh, I pay premium for this I fucking hot sauce. you were dick pics. Yeah, 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 I thought you were paying him. Uh, your, uh, I, I felt shameful. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I, I didn't felt know you shameful. Felt yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I thought his wife was down, right? Yeah, but that's, I don't know. If Maybe it was in person, I'd be like, I'd flash and maybe helicopter it a little bit. But then, not like yes. I don't you make it. Do you get it hard or no? For the helicopter, yeah, it's like a semi hard. So you got to get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. flick it a couple times. It won't. Yeah. It, no, it won't help. No, you grab no, it hard. Right? Right? Yeah, it would just then, be like a. What it's hard is uh, what it's hard. It's more like a. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's more like a. a I call it drunk, <laughs> drunk Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a, a drunk good. Nazi <laughs> in that in the <laughs> helicopter. You know, why? <laughs> Anyway, sorry. <laughs> but, but I am don't enjoying that. I, yeah, don't ever say that. Don't. Oh, God. Anyway, what are we doing? No? Oh, Where uh, am I? Next one. Uh, good evening, fellas. My wife just got home. She works at Spencer's Gifts, Fashion Square Mall. Mm. Yes, the dining yeah. mall. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, today, her regional manager showed up with a nice surprise. Flowers, sweets, snacks, etc. Celebrating her 48 years with Spencer's. Uh, yeah. No shit. 48 That's years awesome, with dude. the same yeah. retail company. This is unheard of. It really is. Part of the reason I mentioned this to you guys is Daniel talking about Spencer's for so many years. I fucking love it. Yeah, Even too. recently about being divorced and working at Spencer's for a young manager. Whenever he's talked about Spencer's, it's always it always hits mm-hmm. home. Even James Colbert has stopped in the store, taken a photo with my wife, and posted it on Facebook. By the way, we know Jimmy really is an awesome fucking person. I just thought you would get a out of someone basically spending their whole working life working for Spencer's Gifts. The store that we have always found extremely interesting things we do not need but just have to purchase. And yes, I have to congratulate her for sticking with the same company, being a loyal employee for so fucking long. We have seen so many changes with ownership. Probably the best was when Universal bought them out, which was before her 25th anniversary. They flew us out to LA, Universal City for a red carpet affair. All flights, room, and food were inclusive. That was pretty amazing. Anyways, not bragging, just thought this might bring you raise a brow and wonder how the fuck can anyone work retail for this long? Everything is true. No need to make shit Also, up. in like yeah, the, it's probably the, Spencer's one of the most iconic, I mean, in I my childhood. Coming from uh, Sam, we know Sam, so it, yeah, this is 100% Sam. true. It, I feel the same way because when I went through my all my phases throughout high school and middle school, like I, they had those phases inside Spencer's for me to dress like and like get mm-hmm. stickers. And I just think pants. it's a fun store, man. Oh, like, it's fun too. Yeah. As a kid, you know, when my dad and I would go in there, and this is it, it is there is nostalgia attached to it, but I'll tell you what. It had some stuff in there that was kind of naughty that I shouldn't mm. be looking at. Yeah. But oh. then it had stuff in there that was naughty that my dad and I bonded over because, like, you know, my dad's picking yeah. up the card and it's got That's some bikini novelty, girl with some big yeah. tits, you know, yeah. and he's like, he's like, get a load of this one. Your mom would never let me buy this. Oh, and he's yeah, like, yeah. oh, and he's like, look at these big old gazongas, daddy. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at these big old gazongas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a word he used. It, you're bonded with them. Uh, yeah, because you're looking at something that, yeah. like, oh, I shouldn't be looking at this kid. And your dad's yeah. like, hey, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, and he's yeah, like yeah. showing me stuff. He's like, oh. they got a hat over here that you can drink beer out of. And then there's a weed section. Uh, you probably like, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad's like, weed, weed, I don't, I don't, I don't know about weed. <laughs> Those have good He did, but he, that was too far in his mind. Yeah, old no, school. Like, a couple things my dad didn't know about that I was surprised in Spencer's would be weed and um, personal massagers. He didn't know what that was. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, I mean, my really? dad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, I, I'm pretty school. sure my mom just use a whale bone or something. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. But it wasn't, they were not massage people. Uh, uh, huh. 
So uh, what I found now they give each other massage. My mom, I've told that story before, yeah. but yeah. not a not a vibrator. Yeah, yeah, not the long stick with the ball. Yeah, with the ball. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a microphone <laughs> for a waterhead. <laughs> the uh, the thing that I found crazy about it, forty eight years it's crazy with My a retail God. company, and then I started thinking: Is she the longest employee? Of the entire company, well, even like management and bosses. I didn't want to say this, but her name is Spencer. <laughs> I was just saying, like, has she worked there longer than anybody? Like, maybe there's some, oh, but someone she bought it. Out. Weird Paul, remember he's worked there for years too. Yeah, oh, but fuck yeah, yeah. you're right. Like, Weird Paul's like, worked there for like I want to say twenty years uh, or like something. Twenty years, yeah, yeah, yeah. But forty eight, they have to be managers. Are they right? like district man- district manager yeah. or something? They should own the fucking company. No, I, I think Weird Paul's just a worker, yeah. an associate. Yeah, and I think she oh. is. Maybe she's a manager. But uh, she didn't get. She didn't like work her way up the ladder where she's working in corporate. She works in the actual right. store. You know, like, like maxed out at twenty nine k a year. Like, yeah. my, but I mean, who, maybe <laughs> I she don't think wanted. so. I think Spencer's actually treats their employees oh, really? pretty well. That, that's good though. There's but a reason. Forty eight years. People have worked Damn. there for for that long. You like, know? I mean, normally it's because they're a decent company. So, mm-hmm. I, like that is a tr- like a thing that we rarely see. Like uh, my my mother in law just uh, uh, just retired from. Uh, the airlines you yeah. work with, and she—it's an old time thing. My dad did thirty-eight years, yeah. you know, at his place. I think she, and that was just because the entire what he did was being phased out, so it wouldn't mm. have mattered. But he'd have been there longer. I think, yeah, she did over forty years uh, uh, with the mm-hmm. same company. You know, that's it's like, it's like crazy, like holy shit, that's yeah, a long, long time. time. But that's what people did. Like my dad yeah. did thirty-eight at his job. My mom did thirty as an educator. As yeah, a I have teacher. a buddy who's almost twenty years at the uh, Newport News Shipbuilding area yeah. in Newport News. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. he's, he'll be there till he retires. Well, I did. Right. I did radio for almost 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, but if for whatever reason that doesn't seem because there's like different shows and different incarnations, and it's like it doesn't seem like all right, you showed up, you clocked in, did the in, same thing, you every did the day, same thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is amazing to me. Um, also, like, do you if she gets to 50? Like you have to, as a company, like use her as some sort of like social media push. Or, like you know what I'm saying? Like well, this employee's free... been in 50 years. Yeah. Then believe... she legally has to change her name to Spencer. <laughs> well, I believe they give you a, a an auto filling whoopee cushion <laughs> when you hit the 50. Gold plated. Yeah. <laughs> they should do hit... that. One. I did buy my you first fart fossil at Spencer's. <laughs> <laughs> you bought, my dad bought the Mooney. Uh, oh yeah, it yeah, was yeah, that yeah, little guy. Yeah, where you stuck it on the car, and then you'd squeeze the ball, and it would moon other cars. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, like that. oh, that's fantastic! A gold, Is that a chopper thing? <laughs> a gold bed. You get a gold Early pl- stages. Gold plated <laughs> Lamborghini poster with a thong or ass. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And you hang that in like Spencer's years. Or I got all years my posters Spencer. there. All of my band posters my I got posters. there because you couldn't get like band posters oh, yeah. except for like maybe one off um, little. Uh, music stores, and they had that yeah. giant book with the posters in there. You yeah, the rack. Yeah, you go rack, rack, <laughs> rack you go through. And yeah, then, let's see, Nira Davis standing on the side of the road holding a sign. She's nude that says. You know, I don't mm-hmm. know. It's like will work for free or something. Remember that one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go A six. Yeah, and then you go A six. Oh, somebody put the fucking Garfield here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Be mad as hell. <laughs> or those holes, those fingers punched in the things. So yeah. You can't read the, stru- the, the, the. How did Spencer survive the internet? Like, uh, how are they still have they flourishing? Because it's oh, yeah, fun to go and look around that store. Smaller. That's what it is. Is it just browse? It's fun. Okay. It's fun to go browse. It's for the mall. Store. Right? You go. Everyone goes in. There. I go in. Are they surviving Corona? I go in and just look around. Because that seems like you know. Do I risk? My I think life they thrive off it. This uh, this <laughs> the Bob Marley dude. They're packed. <laughs> uh, coffee mug that <laughs> I can smoke. They're busier than ever. I mean, I, when I go, when uh, I yeah, do walk crazy. in there, I look around and I'm like, I look to the left, I see like I don't know, uh, insane clown posse socks. <laughs> I look to the right, I see a myriad of different colored jester hats, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this is all stuff that uh, the butler would buy. <laughs> like, <laughs> what, what, what's hot topic in Spencer's? Are they the oh, same? I just want to say, who came first, uh, hot topic or Spencer's? Hot topic is more Spencer's is first. Music Sorry. based Spencer's and uh, more like. Got Not me. really anymore. It's got like, emo. They're still around. That's where I get my Pink Floyd hats. <laughs> I got all my Pink Floyd hats. It's Spencer, you like Pink Spencer. Floyd? I'm like really? I didn't know that. That's my favorite band of all time. Oh, my, did my, you know that? My tattoo. I thought you were wearing Japanese a Nickelback is a Pink hat Floyd first. song on my butt. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. What song? Know. Have a cigar. I'm over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's yeah, do movie. one more. You no, no. Cigar, you're gonna go far. You're gonna climb high. You're never gonna die. That's a great song. It is. Um, my God, that mustache is freaking me. I don't like it. This is a two-parter. I think you'll mm. like this. 
So just watching uh, old videos of Drunky Tom, and uh, mm. why does he have his arms crossed so awkwardly with the uh, when he does the one minute of comedy? He looks so uncomfortable. Well, he was. He's like <laughs> squishing his arms together. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's, it, you can already tell the end is near, and it, that was a while ago. It was. Just, Something I thought was funny. <laughs> uh, I just used this to bring up the fact that Butler, in the middle of uh, of a delivery man bringing us our food. Oh, let's talk about Porky's. Uh, thank you. Who bought us? Matt, BD and Matt. Thank you, BD and Matt. The, he bought us some Porky's barbecue. Uh, Shout out to and Steve. And had it delivered all the way from a Popka. Pig. pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We ate it before you eat yeah. this before Seth comes. Yeah. In. We did. We I was like, this isn't it. on the Petro diet. It's sitting right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I put that no, on the Petro diet. on the Petro diet. I just personally don't eat it for mm. moral reasons. No, but I had a cheesesteak. That's not on the Petro diet. Oh, yeah. No, no. no we also have a tub of uh, banana pudding. I don't know no, what we're going to okay. do. That's on my cheat meal Petro diet. Oh, you <laughs> I'll swallow that down my gullet. It's delicious. I'll pour that down my gullet. It's a bowling. I love banana pudding. And I know you guys, real fast, I know you guys are talking about the drunky thing. Like, I've had you saved as drunky the bear in my phone I've never changed it yeah! it's, so, so, it's Junkie the Bear still yeah, like, yeah, I, I, I have never changed it I got you as Kimbo Seth is there another I, Seth you know I don't have your yes. number saved so when you text me I what? just hope that you put something in there I'll recognize <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm kidding. I got you. Saved. Uh, so saved you as Tracy's boyfriend. The, the <laughs> gentleman that delivered it, uh, he old school radio listener, yeah. uh, uh, Steve White's uh, buddy. But I always love this because they walk in, they'll be like, he'll be like, Daniel Dennis, my god. <gasps> Drunky the bear, and I'm like, yeah! <laughs> yes! I know how you love it. As soon as they say it to us, like, these, oh, oh you're gone. Oh, Butler yeah, got a, laughing at me. Butler got a visible erection. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, and he came it, running out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, Choppers too. There's another. This uh, guy's fucking with you, man. Choppers love fucking with their bosses. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> this is the <laughs> See how time. far they can push the limit. Second time I've <laughs> caught him. First was the dick card yeah, that yeah. Uh, that he put in your wallet. This time uh, he's talking to the old man in front of you. He's like, he doesn't look the same. Without the bear suit, does he? <laughs> <laughs> you still got a bear suit, boss? <laughs> <laughs> it was very much that. It was awesome. clowning me. Yeah, he's uh, clowning you. Uh, but uh, anyway, the uh, uh, the me crossing my arms is because I'm fucking uncomfortable mm. and uh, I shouldn't even be doing this job because uh, it's, uh, every time I go, it and goes do against it, your nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing. I'm mm-hmm. trying to do a one minute of comedy and I'm uncomfortable every single time. I don't want to do it. Uh, you know. Anyway, so yeah. that's why we're not going to. Talk about how Tom started taking photos without telling me as I'm setting up the table like I'm your goddamn mom. Yeah, and your cleavage My breasts was were falling out. <laughs> oh, this yeah. guy's, oh, yeah. I was like, "What the hell are you doing?" No, this I, guy's like, "Goddamn titty, Tony Lyons." I turn around and there's just a picture on his phone of my tits. No, I know that was not. I Whoa. literally, I was still it. Did you still it? I was doing Her a tits selfie are in the photo. No, they. How dare you guys? <laughs> they go, uh, and then you put hashtag dirty taters. I was like, "What the fuck?" I was taking a picture to thank Steve, which I forgot to do. Oh, now Steve has a picture of my dirty taters. I want to see those. Then you ask her how bigger area. Were. No, I, I thought that was like, and you're like, I don't have to see them, just describe them. Uh, that was, God damn it! My son did ask me last. Then night. Billy Bush came out they of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, they. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't even know what to tell them because uh, I was I was laying in my son's bed. I was like, getting why, ready to read his story. I, don't know. I was shirtless, <laughs> and then Tommy's uh, tweaking my nipples. Why does he do <laughs> it? Uh, the nipple things again. And, and then he's uh, and then he looks. He's like, what are those dots around your nipples? And then I'm like, I don't know, son. I think they're nip dots. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know exactly what Nipping they are. Dots. But like everybody's got them. And he's like, I don't have them. Like I think that you get them with age or something. Yeah. Uh, and then but they're like the rings of a tree. Yeah. You should have told him every time you tell a lie, you get a nip. nip Ooh, dot. <laughs> like, Dad, you're a liar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What are those things? The, I don't know. I, dots. I, I push on them and white stuff comes out. Ew, <laughs> oh, that's no. breast cancer. What the fuck's wrong with <laughs> you? My dude? gynecologist told me that. Oh, oh, fuck so. you, so yes, you're not, if you push it and white stuff comes out, you need to get it checked. Yeah, that's real. not. You have white stuff coming out of your I've had chest x rays many times. <laughs> I have that's had, not the same. Era, I have had chest x rays. How many um, breast cancer <laughs> x rays have you had? <laughs> well, you get was, a mammogram? It's for something else. <laughs> oh, but they, uh, but they, they probably didn't look at it, though. At the pus titties. 
<laughs> Sir, you do not have cancer, but uh, you do have pus tubes. <laughs> but they're actually just little like ingrown hair things. Uh, I hope that's what, what is it, though. What are the dots? Uh, Tuna follicles? Daddy is saying that it's for uh, so babies can find the nipples. But yeah, I thought it was more like Come a butler on, said. Baby, and like for hair follicles. Titties. I thought it was a hair follicle thing. But. Uh, well, it, oh. Wouldn't you want just one nipple for the baby to find and not just a <laughs> yeah, bunch of... You don't of, want to confuse it. It's like, oh, I got sm- one. Oh, hold on. There's a bigger one over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, oh, this one's not milk. It's pus. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's not... You're not supposed to have that. <laughs> no, no, you're not. You got acne tits. <laughs> I don't know. Here, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god! If he squirts out, oh, don't. Uh, oh well, it's big. Gotta, it's not from the actual. Oh, you got part. big pencil erasers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you pencil erasers. Oh, look at those things! You got some big nips. You got my big god. nipples. Do I really have child yeah. bearing yeah. nipples? Yeah, those, are, those, are, those yeah. are great. My nipples are like. What do you mean, like the actual dot part of them? Yeah, like no, I got, no, I got the actual nipple. I think you're meant to be a woman. I got a little nipple. Yeah, yeah. Look how big it is. Big old nips. Yeah. It's some, yeah. Oh my it's like god! It protrudes. Baby oh bottle, god. like yeah. You got like an actual this? baby bottle nipple. My god! Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, you got actual a, nipple. You got like a cigarette ash. Cherry. <laughs> 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 you, you got my mom smoked to one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> talking too long. I didn't realize I had nipples like that. Don't fall asleep with them. <laughs> I mean, they always poke. They always poke through like that. Yeah, because yeah. they're long. Who's well, got the longest nipples here, Seth? I think oh, Seth. Yeah, no. Seth. Yeah, yeah. Not me. Yeah. They're not that you got long. little nipples. Mine, like, invert a little bit. Oh, no. you got the invert. Yeah, Those yeah. are yuck. Those if are you blow nipples. your thumb like this, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, I'm all nerd. I'm gonna go to the doctor now. Yeah. Uh, you gotta get them oh, reduced. Oh wait, they, wait till you hear what your girlfriend says about yeah. those. Oh, <laughs> There's no uh, like rumps. I got no She's like, oh my god, he's got dicks growing out of his <laughs> chest. <laughs> uh, all right, you let's... need to put those magnums on your titties. I mean, I did. I did get made fun of for big, big nips when I was young. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 for good reason. I know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I was justified. <laughs> um, let's take a quick pepperoni nips and. Uh, yeah, when we come back, uh, Seth's got some news. He does. He's got I got a bunch of dump them out um, and uh, some yeah, other things. He's so. having some fun yeah. today. Brand new music from. This is from. Is this right? I think this is right. <laughs> Seized up. The name of the song is a Manic Decomposition. We'll be right back. I just remodeled my house. Oh my god, he's got some (laughs) tile! Uh, your house looks amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, almost done. Um, I'll put some pictures up on the The tile that you selected is uh, mm, chef's kiss. And uh, of course, I used at home floor store. It was such an easy process. Um, You know, uh, Justin just came to my house. He's like, you know, what are you looking for? We told him. He brought us all the, the samples. It's like the only flooring company I've ever heard of yeah. where they come to you. And if yeah. you've never you know, gotten a hold of them or, or never been part of the process, trust me when I tell you we've had tons and tons of listeners that have done it. Yeah. And they will uh, will will give credit to At Home Floor Store, yeah. the only flooring company I know of that comes to you. And, and they save you a lot of time and they'll save you a lot of money too. Yeah. So basically right now every square foot of my house is done by the At Home Floor Store. Mm-hmm. So is yours. Mm-hmm. Um, I got all my carpet uh, from the boys' room. Rooms at home floor store. I got basically uh, tile that looks like wood plank. Um, and oh, it's gorgeous. We went through a, and what's awesome is that they dropped off a bunch of samples. We put them on the floor and we looked at them for a week and decided like uh, which ones we like. We narrowed down the color. You get stuff. to do it in your own home, which yeah. is really cool. Whether it's tile, uh, luxury vinyl plank like what I have, yeah. you have tile and grout. Yeah. Whether you want um, travertine, whether you want uh, yeah. carpet for yeah. soft areas, because yeah. you know the one thing. I did learn is like he's like because we were gonna just do tile everywhere and yeah. he's like ah uh, you might want some soft areas in the bedroom yeah, so yeah. just go with the experts and go with the guys that come to you I have them give you a quote because I my buddy got a quote from like the big box stores two of them and then add on floor store he's like dude add on floor store it's less expensive better product yep. and because they don't have the overhead and so save money uh, do what Daniel and I did it's at home floor store.com oh. And there's still a hog in his pants. <laughs> that is brand new music from Blocks. The name of the song is uh, Lie Out Loud. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. Tom. Um, we got some new merch on TomandDan.com. We're about to have a bunch new of new merch next week. But we got some boat flags, some Van Dennis 2020 shirts. Uh, we actually ordered more 
uh, to uh, you know fill in the sizes that sold out. Yeah, so yeah. If you check the site and the, you know they didn't have your size, check again because uh, Eric put the new merch on there and some ladies' hats and uh, other stuff. So uh, it's all on TomDan.com. Indeed, let's do it. Brought to you by GringosLocos.com. There's many locations, downtown Milk District, Michigan Avenue, UCF location. Um, I think you can order to go and, like, uh, uh, Gringos is on Uber Eats, DoorDash. Uh, all the services. Yeah. Um, they, they'll they make your food out of the Lee Road uh, kitchen that yeah. they have. I usually swing through pick up. Yeah, or they, you do pick up orders from there. So it's gringoslocos.com. All right. Uh, yeah. A shout out to them, too, because they're actually catering uh, Tracy's birthday party next Saturday. Oh, oh really? Oh. I got them a catering. I dude, did, the, I did the, them at my party last time. It's a huge so nice. Did you, did you mention Tom and Dan? You get, of course. I, oh, okay. Dude, I'm going to get something for <laughs> <laughs> God, I've, got, I've got to use this to something. I don't get paid. It's anything. the best party catering oh, ever. Because oh, who doesn't so like? Good. Man, I'm just, who doesn't like a taco bar exactly. with like all the fixings and stuff like that? Are you oh. getting the person to do it for you, or are you gonna have people make their own? Not that bougie. damn. You have a person doing it. You for can, you? I can pick hire, either. Can I? They'll let you pick either. Really? Gringos will. Mm, I don't yeah. know about you that. can have someone yeah. make. You look like can they be a, an authentic you person look doing like it? More of a person that would let people do it. We're the guys that get Ah, also. Uh, when, when your girlfriend has a birthday, does she get a little nervous because she's like, oh, one year that. closer to uh, yeah. aging out of this. Yeah, 23 yeah, yeah. is close. <laughs> she got two more years. And then, uh, oh, and then when she gets 25, the big two five. <laughs> well, you can legally rent a car now and your insurance goes down, so I'm sorry. You got to go. <laughs> well, she'll be 23 next, this next Friday. Oh, my God. Uh, Oh, my wife is so old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, so uh, many web. miles. Got a cobweb pussy. Uh, <laughs> this first You're story. Not get frogged if you talk like that. Uh, yeah, she she don't don't as long as everything still works properly. Like Daniel's got his house in order. Like, <laughs> no, I know. She does, like she does I talk a big game, and then I go home. And she's like, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, go jack off. <laughs> I'm, like, oh, I'm gonna lie and say you frogged me, you bitch. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Tracy was a little thrown back from my story two weeks ago with my shark story. Oh, she's like, "What? What's wrong with you?" <laughs> <laughs> I go, "Well, What's wrong with you? I go, I was a kid." She's like, uh, "Okay, like that's not normal." No, it is. By, by the way, that's what you say to someone who has a brain injury. <laughs> I'm like, "God, what's wrong with you?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, why are you talking to the toaster? <laughs> uh, all right, first. Story. All right, this first story was sent to me by a BDM, and this is. P- BDM send me stories sometimes, and sometimes they're so horrible I don't use them. So send me good stuff, and I'll use it. Mm-hmm. Idiots. <laughs> That'll help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Portuguese president has helped to rescue two women who came into difficulty while kayaking in waters close to Algarve Beach. Marcelo Rabello de Sousa. He's 71 years old. Marcelo he- Rabello. That's a great <laughs> name. Know, right? And he's the president of where? Of, of Portugal? Por- Portugal, yeah. Okay. Portugal. Ooh. I was about to say, of Portuguese. <laughs> it, so you, uh, if you're from Portugal, you're Portuguese, but it's also the, the, language, the language you speak Brazil. in Brazil. Okay. Mm-hmm. Correct. All right. But don't ask me where Portugal Wait a is. I have no idea. <laughs> right? Did you not know Portugal was a country? I knew it. Oh, I just okay. never th- associated them being called Portuguese from Portugal. I don't know. Where is Portugal? It's Down over there. by Spain. There it is. Oh, it's in Europe. Mm-hmm. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Okay, he's si- <laughs> he's home to a power to herself. Okay, he was seventy-one years old. He jumped into action as he saw the kayakers had capsized and were struggling in the water. The president explained how the women had been caught in the current before being swept out to sea, uh, off the beach. 
President D'Souza was enjoying a holiday in the region in a bid to boost the country's tourism sector. Who doesn't want to visit Portugal? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Following, I've actually never been. So they turned over their kayaks in a raging river, or just like no? It's an ocean. It's literally an ocean. It was a there's a video. It was an ocean. Okay, it was an ocean. Which I don't know how. If you're in a kayak and you live by the beach or something like that, you gotta know how to swim. Like it's a camp. The current can't be that bad, really. A lot of people do a lot of things that involve water when they don't know how to swim. A lot of people. Well, my my dad knows how to swim, and he flipped his the my kayak over in Daytona, and he struggled like as he was scared. He didn't want to lose the paddle, and he had like a a, Jesus shit floating around. So, but it's for whatever reason, and maybe it's because this guy's a politician. It screams. This has happened before. It screams fake. Like where politicians, you know? Yeah, politicians like help someone change. A tire or whatever, and then they get uh, they're like a good publicity. Although this is he's probably not acting anymore, right? Like no, is, no. What do you mean acting? Oh, is he, is he a current he's president? A current president. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is it. And he said the president who he underwent minor heart surgery last year was not alone in the rescue, mm-hmm. and he called another man on a jet ski a patriot. Very humbled indeed. What a lad. Got it. Christine in our crazy. Twitch chat room just said, "I love going kayaking, but I don't know how to swim." What? Really? Uh, that seems like I'm a dangerous jacket, activity. Though, yeah, right? you, yeah, you wear yeah. life jacket. If I, I were you, I'd probably learn how to swim before I go kayak. Does she live in Florida, this person? She yeah. does. Yeah. yeah, she's a friend of the show. I wow. love her. I guess it, if you had a life jacket, you know, you're going to be fine. But still, you're taking a chance because you're now in a situation that <sighs> if uh, these things fail, it's like being a scuba diver and not having any backup regulator or whatever, like not knowing how much air you have. Like, if anything's have a problem, you're going to die, right? Like, yeah, well, she says, I'm 36, it's too late for me. And yeah. I'm like, wow, I don't think... I think you can learn, though. It's not yeah, like I think speaking a different language. Yeah, you could, but... I mean, we go flying in airplanes and don't know how to fly. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I mean... <laughs> that is not... <laughs> it's not the same? The, uh, I, I see what you're but, saying. But, but we have a qualified professional who does know how to fly. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. It does say- I wouldn't go on a boat if I had a prof- uh, captain boating me or what? ferrying me around. I don't know how to swim. I did. <laughs> What? With these knuckleheads. Like, do you know how to and swim? And they made me hold my pee for eight hours. <laughs> I sailed a, yeah. a million and a half dollar sailboater on the British Virgin Islands, and I don't even know how to fucking sail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's dangerous, too. But the the swimming, I feel like I could teach an adult that didn't know how to well, swim could to you swim. Te- you think you could teach Christine how she to swim? She can come over when I am get my scuba diving lesson <laughs> yeah. from, from yeah. Tom. Well, let's wait. She's pregnant right now. Let's oh, wait right, until yeah. she's not with child. I don't want to have two live because pool, just you know? treading mm-hmm. water, I feel like eventually you can get it within a couple hours of trying, right? Uh-huh. Like, you start off uh, in the shallow end. My dad threw me in before I could walk with his mustache and Coors Light in one hand and tossed me in the... Oh, all right, hold on. We've, we've done this, this before. We've had done this before many Wits times. Up. And uh, the, we don't believe those stories are 100% ha- as they're portrayed. I've seen him do it to my sister. I was they old enough to remember seeing him do it to my sister. And yeah. they had no idea how to swim? No, they didn't know how to swim. They and pushed me into the pool when I was a child at the YMCA until I almost drowned. I'm going to have to call a timeout on this one. We've done this before. It's <laughs> yeah. up here. Yeah. Uh, really? And you yeah. had to basically eat your words. And you don't... I, I know what's going to happen. You're gonna, they're going to mm. say... She's going to say she got pushed in. He's going to say my dad did it. Butler will say something that you'll yeah. tune out. I'll say, <laughs> that, I'll say that I bit my flugel in a fit of anger. And that's how I learned. Then mm. you'll say, I don't believe you. And then we'll do this for like another hour. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No. Uh, I just if, if it was a prominent way to teach people how to swim, they would have implemented that into swim class and stuff, and they do not do anything like that. It would throw some child in that doesn't know how to swim and let them learn how to swim. It's not a productive way to teach okay. people. So therefore, you don't let them on there. you in there with them and you let them go and just let them figure it out, but then you kind of push them up a little bit. That's different than well, saying that they just threw you in the pool, which is the way people portray that. Okay. That's all I'm so saying. they do exaggerate a little bit, but they're still in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to call my time out again. Right, sorry. Oh, right. Okay, <laughs> we're doing it again. Sorry. sorry. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, before I get into the next story, uh, I know you guys all probably have heard about this, and I want to know all your feelings about this. The Netflix, um, uh, the new si- uh, series they're putting out called Cuties. You I've, seen, I've seen people. No, this is all over it. Facebook. Yeah. Oh, I've seen cuties? Yeah, yeah. Huh? That, that, uh, <laughs> that, that's the meme that we're. Oh, yeah. Right. So it's. Um, it's a poster we that they put out. We all looked at you, Tom, because we thought you believed that that was real. <laughs> no, <laughs> we just wait, had what? to check. I was making a God damn it. So it's a poster they I'm put not... out for the new series, Cuties, but they're all 
One girl's doggy style sticking her ass out. Another girl is like, you know, it's very, very sexual, sexual overtones. Yeah. overtones. Mm. But the one side is saying that it's empowering women and, and learning well, girls that come of their age. Well, they're learning how to twerk, right? That, that's the whole premise? Uh, well, and I watched the the um, oh, the God. teaser, the trailer, uh-huh. and it's basically, it's all in French, so I'm trying right, to... Right, like, it is a French mm-hmm. film. Yeah. Show. So it's about, um, well, what I got from it was them... Uh, not learning how to twerk, but coming up and like doing something different with their lives as far as dancing. So it's not just about twerking, okay. it's about dancing and stuff. But there's a lot of it's da- twerking dancing. So it's right. like, I mean, like a lot of the dances that they do, and this is something I'm having to prepare myself with. I mean, Maisie's yeah, yeah, yeah. in dance, yeah, 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 and she's a higher level, like she's good at it. it so. I guess. I mean, mm. she she got asked to join the company. Not just take lessons, but yeah, they, uh, which meant that she had some natural ability, I guess. Uh, okay, so there. Uh, two things I've th- thought about this, but One, I don't like her popping and locking and sticking yes, her butt out. There, when anytime I, I'm not her mom, especially as I'm a male dad. adult, when I you, you see like kid dancers, right, uh, and they're dancing and they're doing adult. Dancing, yeah. like, and when I say adult dancing, like, I know I sound like a, the Dirty oldest yeah, pop yeah, yeah, pop yeah. in the world. <laughs> but like, thrusting, what, they're, they're, they're like thrusting. Uh, anytime, yeah. oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Wait, 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 uh, choreography because that is for in, to, in my well, mind like, I when dance. I see cheerleaders or, or like mm. uh, like uh, older women that are like professional dancers do it I'm like ugh that's uh, I like that they, because it's a but they skew around. it in a different don't way don't do it with the kids because with Maisie <laughs> she's like doing like this Oh, and, yeah. I'm like, yeah, and I'll do that too, and I'll be like, and I'll be <laughs> air like yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I'm, and I'm air moving crazy, and, May, and I'm like, what's that called, May? And May's like, that's called uh, dumping out the laundry, you know. And then she'll do. Yeah, but she's got an yeah. innocent, thing right? Up. Right? Yeah, they, she's innocent. No, probably. but they've given it like an innocent. Like I'm thinking it's like pumping yeah, yeah, my yeah. wife's ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my daughter's like, no, that's called. Uh, this is called. I don't know what this. Like I'm. I don't know. I would that be? It makes me I don't know how I feel about it, it because like I was pushing the dancing stronger. like yeah. that when I was a little kid too. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because so, that's the, that is the popular dance. You watch music videos and you dance you to emulate. what you see. Yeah, and, sure. Okay, so Devil's Advocate, th- this was released in France. There's a total different culture in right. Europe when it comes to sexualization and age. Oh, yeah. Age yeah. consent over there is like 14 or 15 or something like that yeah. in France. Yeah, yeah. So like uh, why are we yeah, are we do we have a right to be upset about a film? I mean, even though you it's just not watch it. Well, exactly. You can just not watch it. But it's still influencing uh, the, our American younger generation, which we don't have the same values as, as them. You know, so I don't know. Just let me so. propose this question. So now, okay, this show's obviously greenlit already. It's yeah. going to be yeah, out, it's already, right? I think it's already on. Oh, it's already out or whatever. Is it weird if you are an adult male <laughs> and into the show? If like someone says like ah oh, have you been watching Netflix cuties lately? I love it. And then it's like <laughs> why? Well, what about that show Cheer? Where I think they're in high school and well, they're I hear, all cheerleaders. I, I would is that, say, I mean, I don't the answer know. Are is they the answer is case by case. Yes, it is not weird. Yes, but it can be. You can weird. make it weird. You yeah. can make it weird. To me, it's uh, like, why are you even interested in a show about? Tell me why. Young but there girls are guys dancing. that are allowed to be interested in dance. Of course, right. that yes. don't make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, I mean, I mean, yeah. No, I, I'm with you 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. because I don't understand it either. Yeah. So okay. Like, trust me, when I go and watch my daughter dance, and then there's some guy sitting there, he's not picking up any kids, and he's watching like kids dance. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? You know, and I get mm-hmm. it. So it mm-hmm. is. It is a crazy double standard too, because. Uh, Max, uh, this is funny. We bring up dance. dance what about like that? Uh, the pageant shows. Max is like helicoptering. <laughs> no, <laughs> like pageant he, moms or whatever ha, the fuck. Have you oh, seen him? He is a up. natural born dancer. He's fucking Fred Astaire. This kid loves <laughs> dancing. <laughs> yeah, he, the, and then and he's good. Crystal right. asked him if the uh, he also is in the piano now. I taught him how to play Sonic. Uh, Sweet. the theme song, or at least ding 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 ding. Oh, and Aww, then on the piano, be a pop star, I know it. And uh, and then he goes awesome. to the piano. He's playing it. He, That's dope. Uh, anyway, uh, the Get dancing. I if, love it. If Max is like ends up taking some sort of dance class, and he's like you know doing traditional hip hop dancing or whatever, and he's doing like humping the floor, oh, or whatever, I, would, I would be like no problem with it. Right. Like, yeah. but, You're right. 
with a girl, I'd be like, don't do that. You're See? right. And then that's, maybe that's the fucking point, that's right? That's the problem. Yeah. 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 And that they're uh, like, well, I these girls are just dancing. If we saw a little kid doing that, that wouldn't be good. A little boy? No. No, but, that's, but Tom's right. That There's that it's little boy. Double that's standard. A, there is a double standard. There's that little boy that's a meme. You know that little kid that like starts humping crazy in the sports? Yeah. He's in a stadium, and they pan the sports camera to him, like the audience oh, cam. Oh, really? Look at him. He likes to fuck. Okay. He's humping, but he's not twerking. If a girl was doing this, everyone would think the same thing. I think it's a twerking aspect that's no. bad. Not the hump. What's the difference if a between an air hump and a twerk? Uh, if a girl hump, air was, is like, was humping her mound, like this kid's humping his mound. The same the, age. We'd be like, age. inappropriate. Yeah, yeah. We, we would be. No. Like with the mm. little boy, we're like, look at him go. Just we like saw. everybody got upset about uh, wet ass pussy. It's, so it is the double standard. So it's okay. And you don't oh, you don't think it's gross. weird when the guys do it, but when the girls do right. it. And, and I think we have different Facebooks because I didn't get any. Oh, man. I didn't get any of that. Tons. Yeah. Well, let me get to the actual story. So since all this, everyone was talking about it and posting on Facebook and uh, had some backlash. Netflix has issued a swift apology after a strong backlash around the marketing of its forthcoming release of Cuties. Did they pull it? Uh, n- no, the, just the picture. Well, good on them the, from not pulling it. The largely well-received French-language pick won the World Cinema Dramatic Directing Award at Sundance this year. It wow. follows Amy, an 11-year-old girl who joins a group of dancers named the Cuties at school and rapidly grows aware of her growing femininity. Femininity. I was like, is she coming of age and like there's they talk about that? Or like, yeah, yeah, it's it uncomfortable is. for uh, Americans. <laughs> yeah. it is like, well, when you think about it, 11, 12, that's when I first started kissing. That's when I first started yeah. feeling boobies and stuff. You know, like 12, 13. Yeah, 11, middle 12, school. So, I mean, I've never felt boobies. Uh, the critics generally praised it for its handling of sensitive topics. Okay, let me ask you this. You think Americans watch it. are obsessed with pedophiles? And let me ask you this. because Now, because it's a hot topic now. It's, it'll go away in a little bit. Well, think well, about it shouldn't. <laughs> all the shows and so, like uh, to catch a pedophile. Well, no, like we, get it, we need to delineate. You're right. It shouldn't go away, but I understand yeah. what he's saying. No, like we have some sort of saying. obsession yeah. Yeah. with the... Well, everyone loves a common pe- enemy, right? Pe- pedophile. Yes, that's true. But then there's also like all the political pedophile stuff and like all the uh, um, uh, you know urban legends and um uh, oh, like, what are you talking like Pizza Gate and, oh, yeah, yeah, all the, uh, and how this Q Anon and everybody yeah, yeah. everybody in Hollywood, including Tom Hanks and Gwen Stefani, conspiracy is a pedophile. Theory. Conspiracy mm-hmm. theories are based on that. But then the shows, we got a lot of shows like Catch a Predator. Chrissy Teigen is tweeting about like you know the code is pepperoni pizza is a little pizza, boy yeah, and pizza. cheese pizza is a <laughs> little yeah, girl. Yeah. Everybody knows this, and she deleted thousands of tweets, and she's a satanic pedophile. So is there any People backlash in any other countries? Besides the United States about this, yeah, like in Europe it is it's just like why? Okay, whatever. It seems like it was the, yeah, the like poster the that that started the mm-hmm. controversy, yeah, the and poster. that's the only thing they're really apologizing for. Yeah, that's but what they said. Yeah, they're they're not... just the poster, nothing else is. So, and they said they wouldn't confirm if it was made in house or by an agency, but they apologized. They they changed it. Out. I'm gonna watch, but it's still everywhere. The posters are. <laughs> have you seen it? No, but you know what? It's in seeing that I would not have. I'm just being honest. It I looks think like a cheerleading. Bad like. girl. If I just saw it, I don't think I'd ever even know nope. what it was. No. I that, think I'd just go that, right through. That's just a little... That's, no, that's a pretty I, innocent poster. I wouldn't have known... It looks it. like a cheerleading poster. I wouldn't have known these are kids. I, I, honestly, I would have just gone like, eh, not, some, not for me. Yeah, not you wouldn't have known they were kids no. because they're posing like adults. Correct. Mm. I'm just saying I wouldn't have oh, even... It wouldn't have even been a thing for oh, me. Seth's a uh, old New York firefighter. <laughs> 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 He's like, and oh, the, oh, and oh, the guy that likes to date young girls is the one. This is a surprising take for somebody. I would have liked my daughter doing that. I don't know. Oh it God. is, because I, I believe in being innocent. I didn't tell you to take counterpoint on this one. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, I like them young. Too young, though, no, that's I draw a line. I was like, all right. I like young <laughs> girls. No poster. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like those. No, I understand that's, that's what you're Give saying. Give me a hoagie. <laughs> Oh no! You'd be okay with you'd be okay with Maisie like posing, like just ha- taking a picture with her butt out like that, and, like no, but yeah, but see? here's the it's thing: a promo dance, she which are, he might come she, in like no, because she already she's dancing. has, she already has. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know, right. last week with her mom, they were dancing to Dua Lipa. They were doing if you don't 
I wanna see yeah. me dancing with somebody. It's, it's that's a great fucking song. And Maisie's booty popping yeah. with her mom, and it, guess what? That's it, her mom, so I think it's all right. right but it, I just it, turn a blind eye and do al- what I'm told. Also, logically, it shouldn't be sexual if it's not sexual. Right. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Like, it's right. not it's like the whole point of twerking was to turn on like the 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 yeah. history of twerking is to is a sexual dance. Well, that's not true. Well, it's well, bullshit. It's not true. But not all dances are sexy. <laughs> Calm down, but mustache. Pe- dancing is people have been people have been doing that dance for, since the beginning of time because yeah. it became the word twerk. Everyone's like, oh, no, only no. strippers but do it. And why it's in have videos. they been doing it to 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 sexually attract the other uh, sp- the male counterpart <laughs> to produce? Well, all that's, I mean, well, if that's how like you a, look at it. We sound like a regular morning show where a guy and a girl are oh, fighting. This is oh, awesome. So we're not in the Amazon jungle here. <laughs> it's, it's but that's what it's for. Yeah, but I'm saying. Oh, so you're saying that dances. seeing a girl's twerk isn't supposed to trigger a sexual response in, in our brain, like girl, strippers twerk? That's what they do. It. Yeah. Is to make us I, horny. I do agree. They, yeah, but they, if I'm but it's all about the if I'm over at the if I'm on the goddamn cruise at the uh, glow party and I'm fucking dancing, that doesn't mean you get to come like get, come up next to me with a fucking boner because you say, think no, it's sexy. I wouldn't come up next to you, but it's still triggering. If I see you yeah, if I see you twerking on stage and yeah. it looks nice, yeah. uh, my both I mean, dick is gonna get yeah, hard it, thinking it, about it. It ain't gonna look well, bad. I mean, people, <laughs> the, the answer is nature. I mean, the probably the logical is complicated. And also, yeah. it should be, it, it, it's all right for it to be sexualized with a, an adult. And for kids, it, you should just turn that off and be like, not sexualized. But then it becomes... This is like the, the argument people of, a, of people when they're like, well, look what she's wearing. Well, look how she's dancing. She's making it sexual. And well, I don't know. I don't, I don't agree with it. Well, I mean, there are, I, you got to be honest to be like, there's a sexualized way to dance uh, as opposed to not, because I'm sure, like, for instance, I bet you if you talk to a lot of like NBA choreographers that have like uh, are in charge of like uh, a whole group of dance uh, dance squad or whatever like they have um, they don't call them cheerleaders in the NBA it's like they, they, it's the da- dancers like it's the like a dancers. spirit team or dancers I think it's like dance squad. I'm sure yeah, the squad. owners have had conversations with them about like what's too sexual and what's like not enough sexual because yeah. there's probably a fine line. Well, what the fuck is considered non-sexual dancing? Square dancing? I don't know, but I'm sure they. Uh, <laughs> but I'm saying they, they for sure. There's been a conversation if they if the dancers have too much of a risque like dance that maybe they get complaints from the sponsors and mm. then the person's like, hey, tone it down a little bit, like less. Uh, pop locking and uh, twerking and stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. I bet you that happens. So therefore, there is there's a, there's guidelines. It's a weird it's double a standard to me because yeah. you know Michael Jackson can grab his dick and like you know hump the yeah. air and Do people you know, aren't like. I was. I yeah. remember. Yeah, but, but you're not being like, oh, he's uh, dancing yeah. sexual, like sexualizing. No, I, or maybe people double, were. No, I, I was as a young. Was gross. I, I'll tell you right now, as a young kid watching Michael Jackson dance, I was just always, like, wow, he's a good dancer. It always puzzled me when he would grab his dick. Like I would. I remember as a kid being like, well, that's an interesting thing. Because, There's more balls. Because I always felt like if I did that, my mom and dad would be pissed at me because I was. I was kind of taught mm. inappropriate you don't touching. Adjust your yeah. So it all. It never like or grab I, it and pull it up. Yeah. And I did when I was a kid. I'll be like, "Whoa!" That, and then I'm gonna look at my. Uh, I look around. My mom's smoking a pile of cigarettes. Go. Uh, yeah, I'm looking over at my dad, yeah. and he, I don't know what he's doing. He's reading yeah, the newspaper yeah, or something. Yeah. Anyway, this is why the uproar because of this conversation. Mm-hmm. I'm sure everybody adds the is like, "Oh, is it good?" It's like, uh, you guys should all watch it this weekend. Binge, I'm gonna watch binge. it. Oh, you, is it a show or a movie? It's a series. Okay. How many episodes? Do you know, oh, I, I, I'm not an expert on this fucking thing. I just looked at it. And... You're the guy to give it a I saw the story. Tra- <laughs> but I saw the trailer, and that's all I wanted to go on. It's about. a movie, by the way. It's a movie. Well, <laughs> May, I, I'll put it to you like this: We can end it on this. Maisie already does some moves that. If I were a more protective dad, I'd probably be like, well, I don't know what the hell that is. But they they give them different names. You know, like it's not like a you know like a twerk or what. Like it's, it's they make it yeah. innocent, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. it's fine. It's just dancing. You know, it's well, communication. Well, it, technically, it's other people's problems, not theirs. Their kids, they don't know any. You know, right. 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 oh yeah, so, agreed. So th- yeah. then it goes back to intent. Right. So yeah. Yeah, so their intent is not to be sexual. Therefore, no, no. one should take it like that. Out. Yes, yeah. thank yeah. you. Hey, we yeah. hey, we fleshed it out. Right. Flesh it out. There it is. <sighs> nice job. Nice know. job. All right, last story. Uh, doctors, this is really cool, have managed to cure a man's drunkenness disease by inserting poop into his butt. 
I I saw the story that the uh, yeah his his gut bacteria or stomach was. Uh, Let me do the names, asshole. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's a condition known as the auto brewery syndrome or ABS. If you uh, if you have it, your gut fungi and bacteria start fermenting in the the contents of your intestines, producing alcohol and spontaneously getting you what? drunk. What? I want that. Think that sounds awesome? Think again. Oh, he they knew I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> he did. That's exactly what he did. Now I'm like, now I'm thinking again. Imagine driving a car in heavy traffic and then all of a sudden, boom, you're drunk. Most oh, of us. I do that every Hold on a second. Which, <laughs> which time? <laughs> I have so many good memories. Yeah, me too. But it wasn't spontaneous. I was drunk. No, I got those airplane morning. bottles in my socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just popping them out like crazy. Most of us carry the bacteria that produce alcohol in our intestines. However, in people with ABS, these little guys go nuts and produce so much alcohol that it starts impacting on the patient's daily life. You can develop this condition without any prior indication for example mm-hmm. as a result of antibiotics this is precisely what happened to the 47 year old anonymous man of our story he went to the hospital complaining he was experiencing inexplicable moments of inebriation after finishing a dose of antibiotics he hadn't had a drink in four days he said but still was getting drunk uh, i've heard of this before and there was yeah. somebody if this happens and you get pulled over for drunk driving will you blow above the limit y- yeah yeah it's, okay. it's, 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 a, it's yeah. a real thing mm. i've read about this book this happened locally i want to say somebody had this this is and not of course the cop's not going to believe you when you're it, like no, i haven't no, drank no, anything no, you get locked up you <laughs> have to go up. and then you have to go get back your medical records oh yeah. Uh, what a disaster. Yeah, it's like having your uh, your identity stolen and you got to clean that mess they up. They never release you because you're always fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, never leave the drug like, Good God, we can't find it. Right. Fucking, yeah, he's sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> so That's we went to the crazy. hospital. They prescribed him an antifungal uh, drug and a low-carb diet, which the Petro diet is, and sent the man on his way. And it didn't work. After a couple weeks, the doctors upped the man's medication do- dosage, but even that proved unsuccessful. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, a month later, he was still uh, getting unwillingly drunk, and his wife also cons- constantly smelled alcohol on his breath. So, yeah, you will you will blow, I guess. Um, things came to a head when the man got ticketed for driving under the influence at a random is. police check. He That's... didn't go get checked out? Like, hey, I uh, feel uh, drunk all yeah, the time. Yeah, but a lot of people... No, you like, went to the doctor, stuff. they're trying to treat him. Think about what you're talking about. Do you think for a second that this guy sitting across from me, one of my dear friends... What if he felt drunk just spontaneously during the day? You think that motherfucker? I think going he to the would doctor? now. Well, I don't think he would before. Remember? Okay, so because he went through his Disney kids, spells for a while. Kids, yeah, he would never do it before Tommy and Max. Mm. This sounds dumb, but like with the alcohol that comes off your breath, would it? I mean, why would it? Why would it smell like alcohol? Like you drank? Like you mean? Because I, your body is is breaking it down. Yeah. It's, still, no, it's, 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 it's making sugar, alcohol, right? it's creating it. But like, I mean, would it be like? I mean, you that's like if you open up, up like a, a shit burp or something like that. Do you think it probably smell? Yeah, funny. I don't know what it would smell. I would like. Imagine there'd be some sort of a different aroma than just she was like I he I was smelling alcohol in his breath or whatever. But like, I think it would smell fucking differently. I mean, halitosis smells fucking horrible. Do you know I've never you at least have some if you had, if you're making shit beer in your in your mm. gut, you'd think it would smell a little different. Have you guys ever been able to? You just smell alcohol in someone's breath? Yes. Beer, uh, I've smelled a lot. Whiskey. Like, oh, yeah. I can yeah, smell alcohol. Certain things are very, very, you can smell. But, I mean, but you're hyper nosy, right? Like, yeah. I can't, I, I don't think I've ever really that. smelled it, alcohol in anybody's breath. 100%. Yeah. I, beer, uh, you can. Well, I'm I, not sure. I think I can yeah. smell Tom's sandals uh, right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's shaking I've his foot. And it's, like, it's, it's like wafting like a poo smell. So, but this guy did go. start wearing socks, man. He did go to the doctor and they couldn't fix it, right? Is that? Yeah, there's um, no was, cure. No, the uh, like fecal tramp. The tramp, doctors right? uh, use the sign, uh, the the term fecal microbiota transplant when describing the procedure, uh, which is a fancy way of saying we will put someone else's poop inside you. What? Uh, but it, it's centered. I don't want that either. Despite how this sounds, not. the poop transplant is an effective cure against some diseases and conditions. It works by introducing healthy oh. gut bacteria into a patient. Can I just take a probiotic and call the, it a day? This is like a probiotic on steroids. Yeah. The procedure is not necessarily done through the butt either. You can get the poop inserted <laughs> through your mouth or nose. <laughs> oh, not through there. No, who We're knows? not sure if that's any better. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. uh, nose that's the worst one. Uh, I take uh, mouth over nose because if you plug my nose, you can put anything in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you ever tried that? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? No matter what, plug your nose. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what you people put, do when they don't want to eat something. You can put anything like vegetables you want. You can, you can <laughs> oh. lick a fucking open wound. Uh. He used his daughter's poop 
the story was a success uh, with the help of his daughter's poop. Oh, the man, man has now been free of ABS symptoms for three years. And what's worse is, is it was a younger, <laughs> she was a little daughter, and she was twerking at the time. For sure. <laughs> the the poop just it, the yeah. poop flung and out. And he had to twerk, too, while they put it in. What? I've, I've heard about people doing God, this with, like, Amazonian internet, yeah, uh, yeah. people with their super gut bacteria and giving it to people that have cancer and AIDS yeah. and stuff that uh, the, have lost their gut bacteria. I don't know. If I got cancer and you come to me and say, like, I would like for you to have my poop, I'm going to tell you get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <They're>, uh, <laughs> it's like, that's very... Take that bag of shit out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick. I was listening to... To a Joe Rogan interview with this artist, uh, well, I think one of those guys, show huh? or something, I'm and a real uh, pro over here. <laughs> he, he has a flamethrower, flexing his, flexing his muscles all the time. He's got one of those. Uh, what kind of lift you got on your truck, bro? He uh, and he was talking to this guy that had lived like first. He met these pygmies. He was, he was like a crazy bipolar guy that like was searching for a dinosaur in the Amazon, and then <laughs> but then he met these pygmies, and then he's always been uh, uh, attracted back to like uh, these like indigenous people and these people have been living off the land for so long that their poop is actually worth money and like Canadian scientists and stuff. This is what he was saying. Hey, like shit in my wallet would come down and buy their shit um, mm. because it had such like unique bacteria in there because they've never been exposed to any outside uh, like processed Antibiotics foods or, like and so they're anything. literally just living off of foraging and hunting and shit which they mostly can only eat baboons now um, because all the other animals are Yuck. protected or whatever so I anyway. ain't eating no fucking baboons <laughs> yeah, and big assholes <laughs> the red ones nuts. big red asses but they with no hair on them they're shiny yeah. these people's gut the bacteria all the time. that they find in their shit is like can treat a lot of diseases and uh, it's hmm. so there's so much of it and it's so pure that in you can introduce it into someone else and it I bet you my shit is really pure yeah I was yeah, about to say it is. because you eat I'll so clean I'll put p- poop in all you if you want <laughs> No, uh, thank you. I'll freeze it. I'll freeze it and dildo it in your ass. <laughs> oh my god! You need to make it into a tiny. Put it in one of Butler's condoms. I don't... <laughs> uh, so you shit in a condom, and does it then work? you freeze it, the and po- then you dildo my ass with no. it. How? Oh, that's an all-time low. You that's can't just something. put it in like a suppository. They to put, put it, it in a w- capsule. Way yeah. though up there, right? Oh, it sucks it up. Ever put a suppository in? Yeah, yeah it, it eats it. Your money. Yeah, he it, knows. We talked about it. We talked about it. Do it annually. It's he like doesn't it, like internal. talking about. Well, they this can stuff. though. Oh, okay. He doesn't like talking about butt stuff after his feature. He's been. Oh come on. By the way, if I were Chris Fisher, sure. I'd change my name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they have to I go. Would. How far? And does the bacteria then like uh, uh, multiply as it go? I don't know. Multiply. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like it, it's just adding a little bit of it, and then that's a new, the new uh, normal. Uh, I imagine if bacteria. you take a pill of, of the poop and it goes in you, like you right. get, you, when you get fish oil burp, sometimes you get poop burps. Now, oh. oh, you're gonna burp and you're gonna. Well, get I think it's centrifuged dosing. out of that. I don't yeah, think you're yeah, actually yeah. getting like that, that stink bacteria. Well, well, maybe they let me getting, have my vision. You're not getting the garbage. Put yeah. some flavoring in it, like the yeah. dentist does. Garbage. What do you got? Pina colada. Put some <laughs> Put a grape. Put some grape uh, in I like they do at Publix with the antibiotics. Like, yeah. Uh, what, what do you want? Bubble gum? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always <laughs> bubble gum, by the way. And I'm like, by the way, nobody... Let me, <laughs> let me yeah. tell you something. You're right. You're right. Okay. Doctors, dentists, whoever the fuck you are, mm. you don't eat bubble gum. Right. Mm. You chew it. Yeah, yeah. Use flavors that are things we eat, mm. not bubble gum. Yeah. Stick mm. with a watermelon. Everybody likes a watermelon. No, racist. No? I like a nice cherry. <laughs> I said everybody. Yeah. Everything's Cherry's racist. Great. I, like yeah, I got cherry. a watermelon. I like cher- cherry taste because too Robotism. many. Uh, cherry tastes like too fake. Medicine. No, it is medicine. Well, no, but medicine <laughs> companies have fucked out cherry, and now I associate cherry with fucked medicine. Fucked out cherry. Yeah. Even, Why are you talking about my wife? And 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 Jeez. the uh, uh, white claw doesn't do I this. Did. White claw's black. Black cherry, I like, but other seltzers, uh, cherry flavors, mm, fucking straight medicine to me. Mm. Like, and uh, it's gross, and they've ruined cherry. Uh huh. Anyway, sorry. A lot of story. My favorite oh, no, artificial that, flavor, banana. That uh, that yes. was it because right. when mm. I copied and pasted it, uh, it copied and pasted two of the same stories. So no. oh, <laughs> oh my god! Another shit story. You know what? Ross used to do that. You know, you guys are more like. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I like that. We spent a lot like of time that. talking about the poop, though. So <laughs> yeah. That's fine. We can, keep, we can keep talking about poop. This is fun. Right? You know what this sounds like to me? It sounds like that thing my wife did, and I don't mind busting it out. She ate her uh, placenta. It was. Capsule. What? Uh, who? Her placenta. My wife. The mm. placenta. They mm. took it and they. 
powder dried yeah. it and powdered it and put it in these capsules, and she was supposed to eat it. Did you try to ruin it? And it was supposed to help her with uh, post traumatic or postpartum. Ah, uh-huh. yeah. And that's uh, all weird. HBO that's weird no, you know what? <laughs> Against how I would normally act, yeah, yeah. I just, just kept my fucking mouth shut. See, yeah, you don't yeah. have to take it. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Sometimes I've I've realized a long time ago. Like, you, know you taught me that. In I my think, mind, I'm screaming. I think you were the one that took some sense into me. I think you were like, oh, yeah, yeah. Just let it. Keep your mouth shut. You're never gonna blow job again. And I was like, what do you mean? She's yeah. eating her fucking, uh, she's eating her pills made out of her pussy. <laughs> it's disgusting. I don't even know what a placenta is. Like, what a part of her pussy fell out. They dried it and put it in these capsules. She's eating them. She's a goddamn animal. And you're like, <laughs> keep your mouth shut, bro. <laughs> you want to get a blowjob again? You're always barking about your fucking blowjob, yeah, you yeah. idiot. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to uh, shut up. That's, a, that's he, the best. Uh, he's told me that a lot. I'm going to try to teach that to my sons. Like, uh, try to get them a head Always blame life. yourself. Like, always shut up. When you're talking to your partner, just in your mind. Shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> yeah. just, no, don't say how you feel about things. Don't call what they're doing Maisie stupid. started school this week. Guess what? It went great. And it's going great. Today's her first day of actual face-to-face. It's going great. You want to know why? Mm. This guy talked me into keeping my fucking mouth shut. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, yeah. You just got to uh, shut up. Just right shut up. Does yeah. she have, like, a mask as you went in there? Like, she has to have, like... Yeah, oh yeah, she has to wear a mask on. Is she good about keeping? You think yeah. she'll be good? She's like, great about it. Yeah. yeah. Juan actually states that uh, eating the placenta only works while you uh, eat it by a few bites while it's still hot. Mm. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so hot warm, placenta. Warm, warm placenta. Well, I can warm it up. Uh, you yeah. put it in one of those sleeves like you do a hot pocket. It's like fake aluminum foil. You know, you know Crisp what they uh, they don't warn you enough about um, the fact that uh, after you have a baby. Um, then you have to birth the pl- placenta too. After, like, it comes what? out. Oh, they wouldn't. It, I, it doesn't I, just pull out or slide out. No, nah, I, wa- I walked out. Can't comes... you do like Daniel's wife? Stand up and just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it falls out. Pancake like a... splatter. <laughs> it's uh, it has to like you, you have to like it's a second birth yeah. of the placenta. Not like you know what it falls like out like. The first one, you know what it, just... it falls out like. It falls out like but, when but, I'm drunk and I take my wet bathing suit off and I just kick it on the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, that's exactly yeah. what it's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh my like, god! My underwear gets like that after a night of drinking. You know, I pee myself a lot. God <laughs> damn! I'm gonna fucking throw up. <laughs> it seems you went the bed. No, no, bad. I pee. No, as I'm walking around, I got to go walking around in my own pissing everywhere. I have pee in my underwear. You just think, you do the uh, blacked out walk around pee. Up, I don't black out. I'm oh. consciously aware, and I just don't make it to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, that's what you can't hold. You told me that last week. You said you've been pissing your pants a lot. No, not lately, but when I drink, it happened. Yeah, it's hard to hold. Yeah, And I went to the doctor for it already. Though. Too hard to, too hard to <laughs> handle, my too cold to hold. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't the the if you look powerful. in some of my old pictures and stuff like that, of me like out, you look at my crotch, One and there's, there's, there's <laughs> always a big circle pee-pee um, stain. Isn't check. that muscle? Like, isn't that muscular? Like, uh, how Jeebles? you can... I don't know how I'm so muscular. Why can't I hold that? Yeah, muscle? I was about to say, like, you have uh, a lot of muscles. Why are your pee-pee uh, falling my, out? Maybe my Kegel's not that strong. The only exercise I'm not good at is the Clean and squirt. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Like I, I, I oh. never have a problem with beeping myself. Uh, yeah. a, I do wait till the last. You got to stop like, and start peeing a lot more. Like yeah. I have a shaker cup that I pee in on my all my rides. Like a shaker what? cup oh, in your uh, shaker, in my car. Yeah. What's oh, a shaker cup? Disgusting. Like a yeah. <laughs> well, like your fucking like your like the movie cocktail with Tom Cruise. <laughs> well, it's not a metal. It's a for pro- you know, a shaker cup. You piss in a protein shaker because you yes, can't because there's no other. You're like I'm gonna perfect. piss my pants. There's my protein shaker. It's oh. a perfect size. It fills it right to the very last brim every single time. It's perfect. With the one with the metal bottle, uh, oh, yeah. the metal yeah. ball in to I shake know. up the protein. Yeah, cup? but I don't have the metal ball in, and I just take that out. You're drinking too much water. Yeah. So you're too hydrated. too hydrated. Yeah, yeah. You gotta dehydrate oh. yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <good> yeah, yeah. <laughs> take my advice. In the mornings, I don't have to pee like eight, nine hours. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then I, a straight Coca Cola. I kind of do a chopper thing too. So usually, you get on my diet, the Jethro diet. <laughs> <laughs> it's always on. Don't I fucking four. drag me into this. Well, <laughs> what I'm saying is, I do an asshole move after I pee into the cup because I don't want to waste time pulling over. It wastes like 15 minutes, and I get home later. While you're driving. While I'm driving, so I roll the window down about 70 and just dump the at the shit because I was a little hole, so I just. Dump it out. It's got to splash down the side of your car. No, no, well, a little bit, but it gets on the. I watch the people behind me. Oh my god! I see the windshield. I'm giving you in for news, but this is it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. You throw your pee pee out of your Hellcat <laughs> yes. at the car. <laughs> yes. And you, yes. And oh, you ever turn your witch wipers, the spray to clean them, and you look at the people behind you and they have to turn on because yeah. the spray back? Happens all the time. I do that with my pee in the cup. God damn it, man. I get small pleasures out of seeing that happen. I love how the, the chat room would be like, he's lying, right? And that's when I oh, look no, at the camera no. and I go, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't I'm seem not, like it. I'm not lying. I bet that I'm that's lying, I'm dying. 
Do All right, let's what? take a break. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna come back. Is that a death threat? No, it's not like a fart. I thought oh. you farted. <laughs> you farted? Oh. Don't oh. Oh. How dare you? Don't eat it. all the things. It's hot as fuck outside. Why are you wearing jeans? <laughs> it's well, cold as fuck in the studio. It like, is cold yeah, in the studio. Yeah, so. I don't know how you guys are We'll take a break. We'll come right back with more Echo or Lad. It's uh, mediocre time. We'll be right back. Enjoy this song. It's really good. And I don't want to tell the truth Cause then it might be over I'm finally getting loose And I can finally get some closure Number one in fast fun Seminole Power Sports Seminole Power Sports Also Seminole Power Sports North Um, if, uh, what? Number one in fast fun <laughs> What are you doing now? It's a quiz <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing a quiz now. Uh, is, that a, is that a quiz? Yeah, and who's the number one in fast fun? The Seminole Power Sports. Show me Seminole Power Sports. <laughs> Seminole Power Sports. Ding. Uh, if you want a side by side, if you want a uh, wave, you runner, gonna fucking punch me, bro? What are you talking about? You gonna you gonna go, you want to go? <laughs> what? We're What's gonna do finally. <laughs> He wrote on, just so you guys know, he wrote on a piece of paper while he was talking about Seminole Power Sports, so he's going to kick my ass after the show. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did do that. Yeah, I did. Um, also, uh, you got your scooter there. I did. I got a 2017 Honda Ruckus from there, and I love it. Mm. And uh, whether it's scooters, side-by-sides, four-wheelers, jet oh, skis. Dirt bikes. Dirt all bikes. the toys. They've got Honda generators, a huge Yeti dealer. Um, they and The Seminole Power Sports North that's in Eustis, they've got Suzuki brand there and all the other brands that you like. But uh, I know that people want to get out and away from people and get Get out in the woods and have some fun, and uh, just go know. outside. Yeah, you know, we live yeah, in a yeah, yeah. wonderful state with tons of sunshine. Get outside yeah. and go get yourself a, a vehicle, and you know, spend some quality time in the sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Riding a side by side with your family in the Ocala National Forest, uh, you ain't getting Corona doing that. No, sounds pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I definitely am envy envious of the people that are doing that right now. So let them know we sent you. It's Seminole Power Sports and Seminole Power Sports North. Welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. Tom. That is Get Dead with a brand new song, Disruption. Welcome back to the show. Sam's here. Butler's in the other room. Seth Petrozelli on news. Hmm. Um, is there anything we need to plug right now for everybody? There's new stuff on the website, but we're, we, have, we have new masks. Coming up next week. Um, and they are, they're really we got nice. new yeah. straw hats coming. These are not, uh, new t-shirts. Uh, these are not Bobo masks. These are the, f- like, really fucking, <laughs> yeah. the same really company nice. that makes our hats. Yeah, Dome, Dome. Makes, uh, is making masks for us. Uh, they're out of Jacksonville. Find oh, we have all those new headbands, masks, too. Yeah, they're uh, thick. Yeah. They're nice. They're, oh, okay. they're like, um, supplemented, and they're, like, uh, soft, oh, okay. right. washable, right. with, like, adjustable straps that go around your ears. It's an actual mask. It's mm. not a buff or I, anything like that. I, too, mask it sometimes. I'm that paranoid and stupid. I used to two condiments. Well, that's not good. Uh, uh, we yeah, got the new the, the new side chicks headband, the cabana headband, the floor dan headband, the ACT skull, the light teal uh, t uh, shirt. Yeah, we got shirt. the Lego Tom and Dan shirt, the BDM boat flag, the Van Dennis 2020, the ladies hat. You know, yeah. And then we're getting more stuff next week too. Yeah, so. and, and guess what? I'm working on some new shit. I got a Halloween design. Mm, I got a couple of Christmas designs I'm working on. Oh, yeah, those are cool. Uh, Lego Man, the original uh, designer who designed that shirt, not, um, well, he designed both technically, but we have the new one, but the original one had all these different parts on it. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, we're going to do a new one of those, so we're going to add all the parts in. Cool. Uh, I'm going to make my own new shirt. Add Mm. some characters, you know. We can make your shirt, Seth. uh, Yeah, you want a new shirt? I need to make my head bigger. We need need some blammer. I think... uh, Ooh, a blammer. A blammer. I've been blaming out the news out of my asshole. Mm. So, uh, something uh, we'll we'll figure it out. Jam we'll out with your blam out. out. I do run in my my T and D hat. All, literally, it's my running hat all the time. The white one in the back with the little in Tom we trust 
Oh yeah, that's it. Well, it's light, and it's, it's light. Uh, yeah, 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 it's light. But literally, every time I run it on the streets, I get honks. I'm like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> hey, Seth. <laughs> okay, that's nice. uh, yeah, it does. How many honks do you really get? Uh, uh, if I run like four times a week, maybe once every couple weeks. Nah. But that's, 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 that's not right. right. That's that's right. right. That's that's right. That sounds yeah, like an honest answer. Yeah, no, that, that, that sounds bad. many people know you? In second thought, oh, I get noticed more. I get noticed more for the. The radio show now, radio, the podcast, <laughs> the podcast now than I do for a fight. It's it was oh. like, hey, yeah, I hear you on TV all the time. I'm like, oh, did you, but then I watch your fights. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you now. watch my, my fights? Is, yeah. uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Right. You want to do? Uh, Let's do double five. <laughs> the list today it's the end of the motherfucking show so come on baby let's dump them out and play i want to see your topics Ooh, i want to also see your bottom mix <laughs> Dump them out, brought to you by SixFlagsMulch.com, and they're in Longwood, Six Flags Mulch. You want to get some uh, mulch rocks, uh, you want some aquascapes, uh, they've got a lot of stuff What's there. Aquascape? They're doing my aquascapes. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. doing my fountain. Are they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a nice little urn that I'm going to have drippage come out of, some awesome. lights, some lights up on it, some nice rocks in the ground. Oh, damn. Mm. Yeah. No, yeah. Nice. It's going to good. It's yeah. John and Panda are really Yeah, good Six Flags is legit, yeah, man. man. Uh, all right, uh, what do we got first? Uh, I don't even know. Let me see that. Uh, we already Sam, went. Uh, we got Sam's, uh, uh, Geico Turtle Vulture yeah. commercial. Have you seen this commercial? What? I I thought about I thought about Seth. Who sees commercials anymore? Well, I do because yeah. I watch QVC and yeah, channels. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I, I, I still cable. have cable. Yeah, yeah. I would love Weirdo. QVC. I'm gonna find this commercial. I only ever see commercials on Hulu. I've never Maybe seen too. commercials ever. I have yeah. in a long time. I can't remember the last time I seen a commercial. When I watch Sling, I see commercials, and it's always odd to me. And yeah. and the fact that they're not tailored to me now is odd. Because I'll see uh, a t- commercial for adult diapers, and it will, <laughs> it will strike me as why are they wasting their time? Guess what? Advertising yeah. this to me. It is for you. Okay, you, they know you uh, got those glasses. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> in a day and age where we all just get marketed to for products that yeah, we actually yeah. like, you know, with they the, know your age, Tom. The uh, sling doesn't do it. Anyway. You want to watch this commercial? Yeah, okay, yeah. this is I the keep getting a cuties commercial. Com- this is a Geico. They know their uh, audience. This is from. I guess it. They put it out on July eighth of twenty twenty. Okay, and uh, and this. I just think it's a weird ass commercial. Daddy, what's that big moving house thing? It's a motorhome, Junior. Modern invention. Modern invention. We carried our homes with us since like forever. Yeah, but humans have Geico to protect them. If something goes wrong, they're covered. What do we have? What could go wrong? Ooh, a feather. A feather. <gasps> Junior! That's no duck, Daddy! That's a vulture! Geico for RVs. 15 what? minutes could be. That's Daddy. fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I was like, okay, so like I'm watching it. That's the exact it's reaction just... I had. I go, this is fucked up. Mm. There's a, it the... strikes a nerve with me. It reminds me of Leo. Getting that's what, what, that's why turtle. I thought of you. Yeah, I go, that sad. baby turtle, who's cute as he can be, by the way, mm. thinks that he's going to get his, uh, his turtle neck snapped off mm. by a killing vulture. Yeah. Well, it's a fucked up commercial. There's a bunch of inaccuracies here. Mm. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll Let's point dissect. Out. Dissect. Okay. The turtles are talking. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> not even that. <laughs> First. No, that's fine. Well, <laughs> they, they don't carry their home around. Their shell is not their home. Like, uh, they use, like, a burrow or yeah, like, like, differently. A hole. Uh, a hole. Well, that depends tur- on the turtle. Yeah, it depends on the turtle or, like, if it's a water turtle. You know, so, but the shell is just their protective shell protective, yeah. that's part of them. It's not where they live. Also, vultures don't eat live, live animals. animals. Yeah. Bingo. They eat dead. They're scavengers. So it's like the, that turtle has nothing to worry about. I've never seen a white vulture. No, uh, they don't matter. It is. <laughs> <laughs> White vulture. Yeah. <laughs> they don't matter. You're right. Vultures are always got that big, uh, ugly goozle. Lumpy goozle. And, uh, vultures are gross. like, yeah. uh, like I think vultures look like crackhead turkeys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like. But not crackhead because they're bigger than. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, maybe they're like, like they're uh, tall. They're the like turkeys are jolly. Stink. Vultures yeah. are uh, trash turkeys. Every time I think of a vulture, I think of the old Disney Robin Hood, the Fox Robin Hood. Yes. Oh, and there's yeah. the vulture. Wasn't there with the big gangly neck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're always villains. Too. He's a villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a villain. Anyway, I thought the commercial was bullshit. And I also didn't like, like, Sam nailed it. It was very innocent. I watched it and I go, well, that's a fucked up commercial. So you're going to have this cute baby turtle right, that you made me cute. fall in love with. And, and you're going to, like, you want me to believe this vulture is going to kill him and his dad? <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, I'll, and by the way, the Geico pays a marketing agency to do these things. So we'll uh, do this. An insane <laughs> amount of money. Like, yeah. I mean, if you found out what they probably paid, and they probably have to pump out X amount of commercials or whatever, like these giant corporations, they'll just hire a marketing agency, yeah. and the marketing agency will do all their shit, and they don't know what the like fuck they're doing. Fucking or... animation isn't cheap, and that was all animation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, you know, they probably CGI. paid hundreds of thousands yeah. of dollars for this commercial. Um, oh, and, we've got a. Uh, CPAT8707 in our Twitch chat room, twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan Live. He says, Turkeys that's, I believe are that's a girl. N- oh. But it's Pat Pat- Oh, what's up? I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, turkeys are not jolly, she says. No, 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 no. No, they're mean. But they look. All birds are mean. They're presented to us the as. The descendants of the dinosaurs. They were pissed off. Animals. I don't like birds, man. No. Uh, what I mean, else we got? But I also guarantee you that Daniel and I can do a better writing job for oh, yeah. than most marketing agencies. Mm, uh, I, 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 go get the job. They're, they're not. Here's the problem, though, because those agencies don't hire like super creative people. They hire people with marketing degrees that mm. may not may or may not be right. creative. And uh, so, like, I mean, unless their idea was to make this like inaccurate, and we fell into the trap. But I don't think they thought that much on it. Ah. Uh. It's also it's like, what is this make you buy Karn? Like, I, does this work? Does this no. make people? The Pinocchio. Go to, one I want to cancel good. my Geico insurance now. <laughs> the Pinocchio <laughs> one is good. I like the yeah. Pinocchio. The Pinocchio ones are good. Uh, He's great. Right. Um, deodorant. What? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, did you see the study? I, th- I think this came out last week where they said that deodorant companies. Um, your normals like your Unilever and Secret. yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of the the right massive guard. well the massive uh, Johnson comp- and Johnson. Yeah, those massive companies they are hurting right now because people are not buying deodorant. Real because they're like not going out. Yeah, because uh, of social distancing. Gross. So people huh. are going. Who doesn't put well, deodorant on? Just yeah. if, is if, it a part of your routine? Yeah. Yeah. It, it is for me. But if I if I'm t- if I take a shower and I'm staying home all day and I don't put on deodorant, I will not stink. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if I'm just staying home, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. The only time I do not put deodorant on after I shower is that if I'm going to bed at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, In the morning, I immediately rinse off and put deodorant on. Now, sometimes I catch my wife putting on deodorant before she goes to bed. I do. I yelled at Tracy for doing that. You do do that too. You're not supposed to do that. That's bad for you. Why why is it bad? Because you're putting aluminum in your. I I know. I got got aluminum free. I got aluminum free too, but it's still not good. You've got to give it a break. Once in a while, you yeah. can't have it on twenty four seven. Yeah, give. I your, mean, I'm only putting it on once break. in the morning and once at night. I mean, Ew! so it's Ew! forever. You're forever covering your pores with but, something. But yeah, what are you doing? And why are you sleep? What's the point? Yeah, of that? you're huh? not going to stink. What are you chopping in your sleep? Because <laughs> fuck I fucking want to. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to smell powder <laughs> fresh, bitch. Then you put on lotion on your body and stuff. That's yeah. fine, but not on your armpits. Well, no, no to do what we say and don't do it. I knew that you guys would do this. I knew there would at least be one of you, a man. I cut it out to. I've been good at putting these tiny yeah, this little is things. Dump them out, not cut them out. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, cut them <laughs> out. We killed that with the videos. I knew that somebody put on deodorant at night, and my wife does it. I go, that's fucking weird. Yeah, I said it yeah. to Tracy too. I said that's weird. It's I'm weird. So you, Samantha, Samantha does it too, yeah. two but out of two out of five do it. Samantha brought up a point that I never thought of. That maybe the psycho. Okay, so she said you got to smell fresh. Well, technically, the ultimate fresh is out of the shower, nothing on top of you. That's fresh because yeah. you're not yeah, tainted by. Are, so you want to you want to smell like deodorant? That's what you want. Well, sm- if you want to smell fresh, you wear nothing. She wants a pleasant odor the entire time. Like and people a sweat at night. Yeah, in it bed. could be a hot night. You yeah, know? Ooh, it could be a hot night. Look at this guy. Uh, yeah. You see what he's doing? He's saying that he has crazier sex with his yeah, wife than you do. It's a workout, man. Yeah, that guy's trying you. That motherfucker's trying you. <laughs> also, you know what? You should kick his ass, uh, Steve. Ass. Who sweats at night? 
Uh, Everyone. Oh, I wake up shaking know. and sweating. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we That's all know. I, I have the most honest thing you've ever said on the show. Look yeah. at your mattress. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 My mattress I is yellow sweat. where I, I sleep, sweat. clean where Andrea sleeps. Yeah. My side has doo Put some goddamn deodorant yeah. on. You want to have I yellow? randomly have blood. I, oh, take, blood when I change my sheets. I'm always like, where'd that blood from? Where'd that yeah, blood yeah. come from? I have blood everywhere. Blood everywhere, too. Might be my dog or maybe me. I don't know. Like I scratch at night. Uh, you just are, your um, sheets are filled with blood. Gross. Yeah, no, it's just the mattress. I mean, some, <laughs> well, I have a mattress saver, but the mattress yeah. saver. Sometimes it. I wake up and I'm just scratching, like blood scratching my thighs. Oh my god! And then in my lap, I'm nude, and in my lap, there's an open Bible. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Odd. Um. Oh. Uh. So I, I I don't know if you guys have, like. When's the last time you got a new oven? Um, when I moved well, to my new house, why, 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 Betty two, two and a half years ago when I bought, but my it was oven. already there. Yes, yeah. last year. No, I bought. Oh, you got a new oven, new oven. A new you got some new oven. Yeah, I got a new oven. Yeah. <laughs> so when oh, I we had some new oven, I was I I got new appliances for this remodel, and I got them through uh, appliance warehouse on our hookups page. BDM oh, owned. Um, I would also like company. to make an. Uh, um, can you jot this down, Sam? Yeah. That. When we do dump them out, that Tom can't use all of his that he puts on the list as just plugs for people that he's gotten deals uh, from. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so uh, if you want a good deal on appliances, <laughs> appliance warehouse hookups page. Uh, so I got uh, I got this oven in, and Crystal's showing me. She's like, "This is how you use it, or whatever." And then now this gets is it hot. different than other. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, now this gets hot. If I if I'm making mac and cheese or boiling hot dogs, do baby no touch. Well, it's all <laughs> baby no touch. It's all like digital digital screen. And the, my old oven had like a turn. Is it yeah. electric or gas? Is electric. Oh, uh, you got a glass giant, top? lame. You got the old digital. You, the yeah, it's digital, and it's got two. Now they bit. They have it's a two door oven that uh, the top. Ooh, that's nice. That's fancy nice. The top is like I got like a convection air fryer. I still got dials. Yeah. I got both. I got dials because I have gas. So it's a <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. nice. That's that Viking. Oh, shit. it's a good ship. So anyway, uh, we're going through the settings and the digitals, and the one of the settings says Sabbath mode. Right, Ooh. and then I was like, Ooh. Sabbath mode. What is that? Right, because I was like, Ooh. so why does it have a Sabbath Burns your mode? Food, black, uh, black Sabbath. <laughs> and um, so, and Samantha, you can look this up. So I was curious. I started Religious. looking it up. Yeah, it's it's for people that recognize the Sabbath uh, on what is it, Sabbath Saturday? Yeah. Is that yeah. A Sabbath? And so that the oven, you can pre-program it to heat yeah. at certain times wow. so you don't have to touch it or it will stay on all day. Right. So you have like a religious what oven. The fuck? <laughs> but yeah, it's a you little, get this you get a Jewish oven. Never, <laughs> what brand is it? It's Whirlpool. Uh, well, it's, it's, they make jacuzzis. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> I, think, I don't know. What, I don't know what, a lot of appliances. He has the latest whirlpool. Can't, <laughs> can't say it. Whirl, whirl, it's hard to say. So, I was gonna say whirlpool berg, but it was very hard. to say. Bo- so whirl, I, whirl, I'm asking a serious <laughs> question, and I don't want to offend any uh, like really Jewish oh, listeners yes, that yes, that yes, recognize. Yes. The By the Sabbath way, they and, have this mode on like. Every appliance. I'm checking dishwashers, my refrigerators. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just wool. Just wool. No, I'm looking at uh, General Electric right now. That's badass. And maybe G. Well, uh, what about my Bobo for today? They call it the I, the Shabos Keeper. You know what it is, G. Shabos Keeper. I don't think people oh. in Samsungville. So <laughs> that's probably Shabos. Right? So so, Shabbos. so so what it does and Shabbos. I've heard this before. It's the where, uh, like, if you are really religious like and you're strict with it and you recognize the Sabbath and you don't do anything, because you're not supposed to touch anything electronic Dude, I or used whatever. to have a friend that would have his uh, in-laws come over to turn on lights. Yeah. Yes. So then... It was crazy. That's so then so there's that... Th- I know, but there's, hey, Yeah, believe. you get a non-Jewish person uh, to come over and, like, turn on electronics for you, like... Uh, is it, is it called Goyim? Is a Goyim non-Jewish person? Why are you looking at me? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> anyway, the... Uh, Gentile? Uh, Gentile, or whatever, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah maybe Jews Gen- and Gentiles. Yeah, yes, Gentile. Gentile. So you get a Gentile I'm over there I'm staying out of this because I don't know shit. Yeah, um, to turn on your electronics. But now they've, they've obviously upgraded to the point where the smart electronics will do it. Uh, you can pre-program them. My problem is, is like, isn't that just a loophole it's cheating, yeah. to yeah. your religion? That the whole point of it was like, hey, take a rest, 100%. don't do anything. Yeah, one of my good friends, uh, we argue, so, I argued with him about this because he was like, oh, I got to call my mom to come over and turn on my bedroom light. And I'm is like, she not Jewish? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, 
He had converted for oh. the girl he was with. Oh. Right? What a and simp. I, but I'd be like, dude, this is so... <laughs> I go, but if you really want to adhere to it, you should yeah. just adhere to it. Well, because yeah. so, because what you're doing is, like you're saying, it's a loophole. You're just skirting the system. Yeah, I'm sure God will know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to Correct. He's looking like, oh, so, he didn't actually touch it. Okay. So is it possible, let me ask you guys a serious <laughs> question. Is it possible for you to 100% truly believe that there is a God that is uh, that, that created the universe and like this is uh, reality, right? And there's these set of rules that you want to follow because it says it in your, your religious book and this is what you should do. That skirting around by having like, cheating the system, You're smart cheating the electronics system. and stuff. Like that, that could somehow be okay because isn't the like if it was if you believe in the book and believe that there's a God, like his the whole intention of his rules right. were to not use electronics or not do whatever the hell it says, and then you skirting it isn't that against the rules well, it's not that posi- you follow? It's not a positive thing. Well, I was like, like how can he you? Didn't, God didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> can you People really justify things? You really believe that it's like, all right, it says it. You shouldn't turn on electronics, but my electronics, I set it Sabbath mode. I didn't know you would have electricity. Uh, yeah. Is he a, is he also, a ghost God? <laughs> God does sound a little yeah, ghosty. It's, a ghost well, it's, very it's ghosty. only when it's we ease into like the uh, end of August, mm. September, October. October, he's getting ready for Halloween. Oh, and he owns a whole chain of spirit <laughs> Halloween stores in the southeast. So weird. Do you really <laughs> believe that your your this loophole is totally fine, and this is not against the whole purpose of the damn thing anyway? Like I, how yeah, do you, you believe? You have it? to ask someone that actually I does that. Yeah, because none of like, us here. The argument that don't. I got it's into just with, tradition for them. Yeah, the argument that I got into with my friend at that point. was like, mm. if you're gonna do this, and this was my argument because I was like, well, I was raised in a religious family. My mom is extremely religious and very devout to, you know, to to her God and reads her scriptures and her, you know, Bible studies every single morning yeah. without fail, right? So I was raised in that, just not in the Jewish faith, but in and the way I was raised, in arguing with my friend, I was like, yeah, you would be punished for doing that because all you're doing is finding a nefarious way to skirt around the rules. <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, well, no, that's not the case because I'm not having to, like, talk about this with God. And I'm like, well, if you can't God talk can about hear it... You. And, but by, <laughs> and then I then we started spiraling into yeah, like, yeah. well, then he, if he can hear the thoughts in your head, then he knows you're doing it's it. It's all a paradox. Saying, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. I'm it's saying, but then right. what if he doesn't exist? Because you're, you should be able to have a conversation with him uh, in order to work this out, but you can't because he's not real. You should have given the drunk Nazi salute thing. <laughs> like, no, I'll never do that again. It, oh, okay. it, it, it's the equivalent to me of like when I was in high school of kids having anal sex because they thought that they could, there's yeah. a loophole. To oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not yeah, regular sex. Yeah, but I sex. think people just did that because they didn't want to get someone pregnant. Right? <laughs> no, no. I, they, I, I, I dated a Catholic there, girl. Yeah, there was a, cat, there was a Catholic girl that my buddy... Oh, I thought you said there was a cat. Uh, ...had oh, anal sex Yeah, but with, isn't sodomy uh, a sin? They, well, they, they're, they're dumb, too. Okay. <laughs> so there's, there's a, uh, but I don't think the people that are using the Sabbath mode on their oven are dumb. I, I truly think that they <laughs> think they could, mm-hmm. you, they could have a loophole in their rules. And to me, I was just like, the That's whole... Dumb. The whole purpose is for you to just rest and not do any of this, not touch electronics. Isn't that or... Do you have someone come over or then have the... Uh, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Anyway. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, no. The Sabbath mode on the oven. You going to uh, use it? I'm going to check now. I don't know. I don't, I don't see uh, What's he going to do with it? But I mean, what does it do? It just waste electronics. Do it just to mess with them. And like, oh, you can't... It's not... It won't let you ex- exit out of it? Where it was like, oh, you can't even t- it touch your, it, it won't work? Yeah, well, there's... I guess the, I read about it, and there's a lot of things that no, it does. No, but the Sabbath mode, if you really think about it, it's mm. fucking not good. Mm. It, the Sabbath mode should be like you go up and it says put it in Sabbath mode and you hit the button and the fucking oven just oh, goes, shuts down. Well, there's another <laughs> yeah, yeah, joke's on work. you, you idiot. <laughs> there's another thing in the Sabbath mode you can set it where it won't work on the Sabbath too. Which another thing That's is better. like you oh, that would have been a good joke. You have to sense. preset the electronics so that it reminds yeah, you to you be religious. Reset that it's shit. like when I hand the bag of popcorn to my wife and I say take these away. I have no self control. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, uh, what else we got? Do a couple more? Uh, independence. Oh, yeah. I, I got the quintessential hurt feelings this morning when dropping May off to school. And I know a lot of you that might be parents are going to be doing this very, very soon. If not today, you'll be doing uh-huh. it in the next couple of weeks. I go to drop her off. She doesn't want to do any of the photos 
which I was arguing with my wife a little bit. We got a, we got a little spicy. <laughs> like first day of school. Well, her and I got Andrea and I got a little spicy because I was like, you do realize that these photos are not for her. She don't give a fuck about these photos. She doesn't want. She didn't want to have anything to do with a group photo with all of her friends or little girlfriends or anything. Um. She just wanted to go inside and do school. That's all she wanted. Mm-hmm. She woke up this morning. Can I go to school? Can I go to school? Can I go to school? Can I go? She was so excited. Can mm-hmm. I go to school? We get out there, and then sure enough, when she goes in, hey, I want to tell you, I love you. I love you. Have a great. Already in. Mm. Yeah. She didn't one, even give a fuck. Yeah. No hug, no kiss, no oh, nothing. She, yeah, yeah. I mean, she, yeah. Maisie's so independent. She, She's I'm, very I'm, independent. I'm, you could leave her alone by herself at a house and she'll be fine. She could babysit I, 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 You've said that before. I truly believe And I've been that. like, eh, not a big dude this morning. Yeah. Because she it, made her own breakfast. She did. She did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what she it, make? It makes, it, like, it almost makes me want to cry right now. I don't get the the. The fucking! I want her to need me, and she, she made like Andrea bought her Fruit Loops because she doesn't get that kind of cereal. Mm-hmm. But we got her some because it was like her first week. She made herself a bowl of Fruit Loops. She poured herself a, a, a glass of what well, she did Fruit Loops with almond milk, a little glass of almond milk, some grapes, and then something else. But like, yeah, she made a little breakfast and sat there, and then just came and sat. My kids won't even get their own water. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I want water. No. And I'm like, get your own kid. It was right there. It's like, I don't know. Then they wander around the kitchen. I like this. Just let them wander, dude. You know, no, that's not, grabbing things that's not like, you. That's just guys. They're just they're, guys. They're, that's what I do They're with grabbing my cups. They're touching it. I'm like, dog, and then I go do it. And I'm like, yes. and I'm like here's the water. That's there. just men. I they go, know you're going to do that, so exactly. they're taking advantage. And then I do exactly. it to my wife. And yeah. I'm, I'm like, I want, I'm hungry. I want food. And they're like, there's a food right there. And I want I'm opening up There's nothing. I, I don't know. That's exactly what I was like, how's my white claw? She's like, it's right in front of you. I, I can't get it. I go and I sit down and I'm like, bring it to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think it's just going to go. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just I that too with the spices because I don't like looking. Dude. I have a lazy Susan with all the spices. And I'm like, where's the fucking uh, celery salt? She's like, there's tons in there. I'm like, I can't find it. But it's right there. There's like three of them. Yeah. So she comes down, spins it, gets it. Says, don't don't Congratulations, you you're driving. You got to raise your boys better. No, than he's that. raising normal They're good American men. They're not going to be able men. to have a healthy relationship. No, no, that's yeah, they'll be how with, they are. They'll be fine. <laughs> they'll be living in my uh, divorced man's apartment. I'll sleep on the couch because I only get out four two bedrooms <laughs> and they, they get the that's a, that this happens. is the saddest one yeah, yeah my god yeah yeah so then uh, I give the boys the two bedrooms yeah. because I, they like I need my boys I, have to, I just sleep on the couch and they're like hey dad uh, and then, I've got a one of my I've got a girl coming over tonight can you uh, can you go hang with Dan maybe do some of your uh, like old podcasts you used to do give, give me a, I'll put a sock yeah, yeah. on the door then I'm in here by myself <laughs> there's you oh, I'm, I'm dead I'm dead uh, yeah yeah, yeah. That, uh, you I'll, didn't tell him I was dead yeah yeah and then I have that sad office in the living room where it's just it's not even office it's just like a some Ikea <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, uh, it's like an old lack table <laughs> yeah. and then I put my uh, laptop in there and I'm like get your readers on I'm like I'm in my office but it's yeah. in the living room yeah, yeah. and it's not a separate room it's just a, it's, it's just in the a corner, desk yeah. a desk in the corner <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then my but you put things that like were accomplishments yeah. so you put like an old some old Orlando Weekly thing on the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the, that, that old living yeah. on the airwaves, which uh, my son's found. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? True. UCF wrote an article about me one time, and then my... Living on the airwaves. My wife... Or my, oh, God damn it. My Whoa. mom. Whoa! <laughs> it, back. I had a, yeah! <laughs> or as Tom says, yeah. <laughs> She she had it <laughs> framed like in the when the glass there was a yeah. thing and then it was she like had it matted and framed and then uh, and then uh, now it's just underneath my bed and dusty so uh, when I moved everything out for the remodel and put everything back my sons found it and they're like oh. what is this and I'm like. That's, that's like a, when you discover your dad used to be a superhero. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, that's mm-hmm. a newspaper article. Uh, my Do they college. know what a newspaper no, is? No, they, they didn't know anything. Weren't impressed, by the way, at all. Mm. Uh, didn't even register in their mind. As as I'm telling them the story, they're walking away from me. That's what happened to me this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey. Give two shits. Um, she asked me to wear the shirt. Care, no, May, not nothing. May goes, you're going to wear your Tom and Dan, the... the the crazy shirt. I'm like, all right, I got it. Tommy in crazy shirt, and she's like, and you're gonna wear the matching, uh, the the crazy hat. So she wanted me to wear this shirt with my big oh the sun what straw hat, beach hat straw? that matches. That's, That's what she wanted me to wear. But I was like, ah, I won't do the hat. You know, mm-hmm. like you know, I gotta so wear a mask. A hat, no stupid, that doesn't match. Yeah, I'm wearing a mask, a hat on. I look like a fool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she wants you to look like a fool, like a clown. <laughs> she, does, she didn't give me a hug. Nothing. Just ran into class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they fucking she'll give me. you a big hug today when she comes back, and she'll miss you all day. I bet. 
I don't know about it. I no. saw a picture of her. Oh, I'm at trying to make you feel better. Lunch. I right. saw her at lunch, and she's like, uh, How do you see I'm the picture? girl without a dad. How do you see a picture? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Happier than ever. <laughs> she takes pictures? She has a phone? No, her teacher has... It's uh, Dude, school is... Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know, know how this works. You so. see uh, your yeah. pictures of your kids like... Uh, what? Dude, my, uh, Crystal's got... Uh, yeah, look like, at this. The teacher has all the moms' There she is eating phone lunch. Numbers. It's like live. They'll send no yeah. they'll send texts to the parents throughout the day and shit. It's crazy. Like you have joy- think about this. Like back when we were God. in elementary school, like you had very limited access to the teacher. Like it, you know, pre email or anything. It was like you saw her in person. Maybe the like during parent teacher meetings. My that was it. My yeah. No other who contact. The fuck yeah. My teacher was now like like Crystal and moms nowadays have constant everyday yeah. contact with the teacher huh. back and forth and like all this information. Like back when we were kids, like you had parent teacher meeting that if your parent went to, it was optional. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, sure Samantha, right. like your dad, had no idea fuck who your no. teachers were, <laughs> who their names. He didn't even know what day of the week it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the hell? Like like back in the day, you, you, you never talk to your kid's teacher, like, it, it, besides no, them, like, the did, first day it, you go... First day, and if they were bad. Yeah, or, like, the parent-teacher, like, if yeah. you were, it maybe managed to go to that, and you, have, you meet the teacher, you're like, all right, no, nothing else happens. <laughs> like, no other contact. And then it's like, all right. Well, what's really needed besides maybe once a checkup, the report card type thing? Like, I don't know. Not, I mean, is there's too much information. Like, who cares? Yeah, yeah there's, uh, it, I, I guess it's better because now you can monitor how your kid's doing. And uh, you know, yeah, it's cool. Uh, we're all I, I fine. Like it. We're all fine. I like it. Are, are, are we, we fine? We get in with this one. <laughs> it, yeah. uh, the, le- are we? They are listen. We're telling our listeners to listen to the oh, worst no. stories ever. Because <laughs> <laughs> they listen to us. We're all fucked we're, up. We're yeah. not dead and under a bridge somewhere uh, sucking penis for money. I don't know. Uh, we're not fine. yet. We're sucking not. Yeah, penis but, for I mean, money. I don't know. But I that's the to. standard. It's like as long as we're not dead and under a bridge, we're fine. Like, can we do better? Can we? Can we do better? Standards are low. Yeah. You I got bl- blood sheets and mustaches. Who <laughs> 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 all fucked up? Listen to me, my yeah. God! I'm not it's saying atrocities. <laughs> Chopper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Right. Samantha God, if you listen to the atrocities she grew up with, though, the, the, it's I have to bad, bad out. in there. We get in with this one because mm. this one's kind of funny and it uh, just shows how stupid we are. Mm. My <laughs> wife was interviewed last week by the morning show on X, or not XL, it was uh, Magic 107.7, Leslie Gale. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I forget the other guy that she's on. Leslie, there, how long has Leslie Gale been on the Almost air? as long as she's been in news. She was on Channel 6 for years. Like, has it been then, 20 years on the, on the air? Close. Or, and then, um, so mm-hmm. um, she was interviewed on the uh, the big magic one hundred seven point seven about how kids were acclimating and or acclimating and getting your kid back into school and then Maisie came over to me and she was like mommy's super cool mommy was on the radio. <laughs> Uh, she had no idea. Fucking there, bitch! <laughs> I'm surprised she knew. Or she probably just knew the concept of like there's someone interviewing her. No, she I think no Andrea radio. built it up and made okay. it a big deal. Okay, yeah, to yeah. try and fuck with me. Oh, because uh, she, yeah, you're on the radio every night. Yes. Yeah. Not the same. It's not live. Yeah. You need live caller driven radio. Yeah, <laughs> it isn't the same. <laughs> It is a good one. Are we going to do that again? Go back to the radio station? Fuck no. no. Okay. Never do it. People never liked again. It. No, yeah. I'll I'm, never do that it's again. It's more clout. I'm, I tell people all the time radio show, not a podcast. <laughs> I would sooner live Yeah, but under it shouldn't be. <laughs> no, it, no it's it not. It should not be worth well, it. Your old man friend. <laughs> 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 to, 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 to your girlfriend, she's like, you don't know what radio is, right? Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, you and those guys do walkie talkies. The thing is, anybody can, any idiot. Can get a laptop and a microphone and be a podcaster. Yeah, yeah. You have to be hired in, in addition and maybe be somewhat qualified. You're to right. I've never radio. worked with idiots on radio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. There's not. What I'm saying is yeah, that's that's. Mm. I, I think so. I see yeah, what you're well. saying, but um, it's an antiquated form of distribution. Agreed. Uh. Um, and mean? it will be my sons will have no clue what that is. Is uh, Seth Rogen now the highest paid broadcaster? Or is like Howard Stern still beating him? Yeah. Well, Howard Stern got Seth Rogen. Five, 
Is that what I just said? Yeah. Joe oh, Rogan. shit. Joe Rogan. Yeah. Oh, Joe Rogan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, was well, uh, how was, My bad. How was <laughs> everybody was quiet. <laughs> was you know what? No, Tom went with it. 500 million. 500 million for, for Howard. Yeah. And then, and then oh, Rush yeah. Limbaugh got a $500 million contract. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Back in when... Yeah. when Joe's 100, mo- right? The money's different. I would say when it all shakes out... He's the highest paid podcaster yeah. that's ever been. I'm going to think when it all shakes out, Howard still wins, and that's just probably based on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, mean, he does. He does three days a week now. At, mo- at most. Yeah, well, I, I listen to him a lot now. Yeah, it's, it's a good show. Oh. Yeah, he's too political now, but yeah, I like him still. Well, but, he's, he sounds paranoid, scared. Oh, that too. Yeah, yeah. Over the thirty years he's been broadcasting, he's made way more money. But, oh uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I, what do you think? The but he's got to retire soon, right? And Limbaugh. I don't know. So then the top well, dog. Limbaugh's dying. Being, think about yeah, this Limbaugh's now. Dying. Think about this now too. Like Howard and Robin and everybody, they're working for their homes, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's a lot more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't yeah, have I mean, to do much. You know, yeah. like, I think Howard Stern has uh, he's, and got he's a, paranoid. He's, he's not leaving his house. He's I, taking this, and everybody should. He's taking it seriously. But I think he's fucking a, Corona. He's a little more scared than most. Maybe yeah. a Howie Mandel. Oh, he's older. Off on him. He's old. Mm-hmm. I, it's yeah, weird. Seventies. It's weird that I still call like uh, like New York City like cor- the Corona epicenter, and I'm in Florida, which right. I think is the Corona epicenter. Like I think yeah. it's worse. Florida, than, not Orange County. We're doing very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know, but I'm saying I We're think doing a good Florida job. is more than New York at this point. Yeah, but um, it's Miami. But yeah, Howard Stern. I mean, essentially, if because the problem is, what else is he going to do? Like everybody's like, oh, he's going to retire. But if this is all he's done for. How many years? Like you just want to keep doing it. If yeah. it becomes so easy, you're doing it in your house just in the mornings. I mean, why would he ever stop? He could just do it until yeah, he dies. Why not? Right? If he uh, dies on air. It'd be great because, like, it's like Jim Phillips. If Jim Phillips, I'm sure if you ask him, and maybe it's a little bit different. We're but, supposed to talk to him like in uh, like next week or so. And maybe we'll ask him. Right. But like, yeah. if they, if, if what, what if? No, cor- it's not on the schedule. I got to reach out to him. What if Corona happened like uh, a couple years earlier? Uh, and then Jim Phillips doing the just the show from his house. He, he might still be doing it now. He, because it's like, all right, I don't have to leave. I just go and just do it. I, I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to see anybody. I don't have to go to meetings. I'm like, you know, like, but he, maybe he's still just doing it. And then if like they didn't want to change anything, and they're just like, oh, you could do it as long as you want. Like maybe he just keep doing it until whenever. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, because it's not like. Uh, You've done it so many years, you know, like you, you've probably very little prep, and you know it's second nature to well, you. He's got like you, and you can hear it. And, and these are the times that I forget that what we do. I'm not comparing ourselves to that. Like he's the the greatest, and and, oh, yeah. and I've always said he's the reason that I wanted to get into radio because I was a big fan back in like the late '80s, early '90s. But I will say that when he talks, I hear things and I'm like, oh, man, that'd make my life a lot easier. When he says things like, oh, yeah, like I was talking to our team of writers and I'm like, oh, yeah, we don't have any of them. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. You know, well, like, he made it got, easy for he's himself. He's got yeah. editors and writers and you guys need interns to hire more people. and producers. <laughs> yeah, and that, we that, just don't, we don't have the dough. Yeah, $500 million. <laughs> you can yeah. get whatever you want. And yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, like if you're Rogan, you could... Uh, you know, build whatever studio, have whatever, but you know, and you know, it just yeah. makes it easier. It does. Army of employees, and uh, we'll get there, or we won't, money. and we'll die. There's the end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I think that level is unprecedented. Uh, you yeah. know. Um, anyway, probably won't happen again. So, um, let's plug some stuff and get out of here. Samantha Butler's going to be on Samantha Tonight or tomorrow? Uh, tonight, actually. Me, uh, I've invited Butler and Tony Rage. Oh, God. Oh, is he going to do Trump? So, is he uh, maybe. Do Trump he did impression? last time, so he might. This I love time, his I don't Trump know. impression. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, I'll leave that up to him. Tony's also got some cool uh, like apparel thing and the skateboard blog he's been doing. Has uh, he yeah. talked about the... I don't think he's talked about the one thing yet. I do apparel? Oh, no, yeah, I don't think that's that. out yet. So. Oh, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, Tony, <laughs> nice job. Nice job. <laughs> I'll ask him about it tonight, yeah. though. Has Check he out. come out of the closet yet? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he hasn't? Oh, my God. You know... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, <laughs> sex addicts. Semantics. Uh, and uh, Seth... Yeah, what, send uh, us an email. You got questions for Butler? Show at semanticspodcast.com. I think I'm the only one that in this room that hasn't been on semantics. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get on there, bro? That's weird. This is my third time. Oh, you heard mustache feeling. So, uh, I have nothing to talk about. Uh, karate. Uh, I had to talk about karate. Karate.com. What is it? Karate.com. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was karate your karate? Mustache of Orlando.com. I thought you changed the name to... Uh, 
Hoka doka dicky doogie. That's so racist and insensitive. <laughs> I uh, know the name. Uh, yeah, Jung Guru. Yeah. Yeah. Jung Guru. Yeah. 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 Dojo. Yes, Young Dodo. No, the name of. <laughs> yeah, what's up, son? It's me, Young Dodo, baby. <laughs> the name. The website is karateoforlando.com. That's my website. But the Jung Guru Dojo is the name of the dojo. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, yes. Anybody is interested in that? Um, just follow me on Instagram at Silverback Seth. Send me a DM about anything about the jungle, anything about my karate, anything about my diet, or. Anything you want to cuss me out for, go ahead. Petro and, diet. And Petro diet. It's going to me. I have I have a whole folder on here for people when they buy my diet. I tell them to send me updates. I have a whole folder of I lost three pounds, I lost four pounds, five, all in That's a week. Great. Like of all these people losing weight and how, how much energy they have and how great they feel. So, um, yeah, if you want that, just follow me on Instagram at Silverback Seth. Shoot me a go. DM. Let's talk about all pro dent repair. Yeah, oh. um, those guys hooked me up. I I have a. I've talked about getting a new SUV because my lease was up and less than a week into driving it. I curbed my rims because I'm not used to driving an SUV. Drove me crazy. And then Mike and Corey at All Pro Dent Removal, those guys, uh, they crushed it. They yeah. actually did such. I mean, you, I, it's absolutely, they're, he's a goddamn wizard. I have to turn my uh, WRX in because my lease is up literally in September. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, we never got the race. And I know, I know. Yeah, I know. that's the been like fuck? nine years in the Three, making. Yeah. There's a race, I'll crash it right before. <laughs> <laughs> right after Mike and Corey get the, you know, yeah, and their yeah. team, they get that thing looking pristine yeah. and I, you, kill, yeah. you wreck. Because I curved Richard all my Hammond rims, dead. obviously. And dent crazy. Uh, I gotta get it repaired before uh, I turn it in, so it'll charge me a shit yeah, ton. So, so anyway, yeah, check out All Pro, and then uh, Travis, anything uh, we got? Yeah, about? absolutely. Uh, check out uh, my wife's practice, doctoroctor.com, Health and Motion Chiropractic. Big expansion. She has an esthetician and an acupuncture there, a full time massage therapist, along with all of her uh, chiropractic uh, care. Cool. So check her out. Oh, all right. and I want to wish Tommy Gilligan a happy birthday. Yep, yep. And then, and then uh, we'll throw something a little more somber. We put these at the end, but a uh, new member of the Dead Dads Club, it's uh, listener Christopher Schrock, and I believe his uh, dad had exactly the same name. Throwing some love out to the patriarch, the main guy. Um, he was lost, I want to say yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So, um, But sad. the cool thing about that, and there is a cool thing about it, is apparently his father, by the same name, introduced him to the monsters, to you and I. I saw this um, on the BDM. He page, loved yeah. us. He was a BDM. Listened to the show, mm-hmm. followed the show, knew everything about it, and uh, and we just recently lost him. So, to any good man out there or woman that listens to the program, let us know when we lose um, one mm. of the tribe, and we'll we'll give him a shout out and throw some love to him, and uh, hopefully help you out a little bit. Um, yep. I don't know what else to say. That's what if weird. we had a good mustache? Mm. But you had a good mustache. Oh, yeah. 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 Strong, yeah. real man. Yeah. Real man. Are you going to keep that going? Yeah, I'm going to keep it going. All right, yeah. keep it going. Get right. a Big, big old, like, like Western man. style. No. Yeah. 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 Should yeah. we tease what we got going on Monday? Uh, sure. Yeah. It's finally happening. We are talking to Sean from Shop LC. Yeah. We've got some products today yeah. in the mail. And we're gonna fi- I'm going to finally get to do some uh, spieling. Yeah, we're going to yeah. do some Shop LC. With a legitimate, like Tom and Sam uh, hooked us up. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get to work with an actual, yeah. like, you know, uh, what do you call that? Like a uh, television marketing company? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a presenter, a product presenter from uh, Shop Market LC. Market alert! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, market the alert. Alert. he's the bargain alert guy. We're we get getting bargain stuff. alerted. Who knew? Oh. We, I don't think we've told you guys this, but apparently Sean from Shop LC, his entire family listens to the show, and they let him know. We, we played one of his clips because I love the guy. He screams bargain alert. Oh, I was on the show with that. Yeah, he's crazy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and why? Well, they all run together. <laughs> I know. Don't, I know don't take that as a slight. <laughs> and then... Uh, then he's like, yeah, that's my brother. Some guy Eva is like, that's yeah. my brother and my mom, and I listen to the show. So we got to talk to them, yeah, and yeah. apparently we're gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna try to do some stuff for Shop LC. Uh, they were uh, surprisingly interested. Like, hey, let's do some stuff. Like, uh, we're like, wait, get, what? Let's, like, <laughs> you yeah, actually yeah. want to? Let's, get, let's do it. Like, uh, but the the stuff they sent us is dude. fucking awesome. Like, yes. they are not. Uh, they rolled out. They sent us a big box at Shop LC on it. We open it up. Yeah, not yeah, gonna yeah. tell you what's right, in there. We'll but see that Monday. We yeah, got yeah. some spieling to do. 
So uh, thank you guys. We appreciate it. Thank you to everybody who's bought some merch. Um, we've got some uh, uh, Van Dennis promotions going on. Uh, we may do a. Uh, uh, a merch tent Eric is going to set up. Uh, yeah, like a pop-up sale. So. Yeah, yeah. And then we're, uh, we've got some Tom and Dan uh, or Van Dennis yard signs yeah. that we had printed. Super uh, limited. And so we'll tell you all about that uh, probably next week. So, guys, we appreciate it. Thank you to all the BDMs and subscribe. Ah, bye-bye. Bye. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre. And now it's time for the Tom and Dan end of the show footnotes. Today you heard music from Seized Up from their brand new Manic Decompression album. I think I mistakenly said decomposition during the show. But hey, that's because I didn't have my glasses on. Snag this song and start off the weekend with some classic rock and roll. After that was brand new music from Blocks. Now, a lot of folks in the Twitch chat room today said that they really like these guys. You heard the single Lie Out Loud, and based on what we heard, we can't wait to get more from these guys. This is my pick of the week. Next up was a brand new song from Roberto. Now, I saw some people that were actually comparing this guy to Paul Simon. I love to actually see you guys participating in the chat room while I'm playing music, and I can totally see the Paul Simon kind of link up. You heard the newest single entitled Dorigo from this mega creative new artist. We closed out the show with new music from Get Dead. I know that we've played these guys before. You heard their newest single, Disruption. And on that note, please like and subscribe the podcast wherever you snag those podcasts. Do it on YouTube as well, and we will see you next week.